だここにいたんだ君の,の笑顔を見せてよ見せてよね炎がにかかっているみたいかい越しの聖愛者で Hello. How's it going, guys? Hope you guys are all doing good. A high kick. <laughs> Let me touch the demon inside you and fill your dark soul with light. I should have been the one to fill your dark soul with light. You're just like me. For real, for real. Ah, what a day! Uh, big yawn. Holy shit! Cracking open a drink.
Okay. Take your time, Keg. I'm still kind of half getting things right. Speaking of which, I gotta open my window. Give me a sec. I forgot. Got to open my window up. I, I've been really enjoying the fresh air. I genuinely think fresh spring air is doing wonders for me, at least physically. shit off the bed. The bed, the chair. Jesus Christ. Don't give you guys misconceptions. Turn off this off. It's gonna be nice and toasty in the room. And the open window is gonna cool it off. But hello everybody. Check me out. I finally started a stream before 11.30. Holy shit. How long has it been? Ages. It's been ages. Oh. Yawn. Here comes the yawns. I only yawn while on stream. I hope you guys know that. I don't yawn off stream. Not like this. I, I, I looked it up a while ago to see why. What is the vagus nerve? Hold on. Between my heart and my digestive. What? Overstimulation. I guess my brain is just being overstimulated, guys. I'm being overstimulated and I'm anxious, I guess. Google has diagnosed me. Therefore, it must be true. Let me also get Tangia open. Since you guys have been really having fun messing around with that lately. I want to make sure I have it open properly. There we go. Oh, nice. We're at level 14. Like, holy shit. That's kind of crazy. What is the reserve character limit on Tangia? What is this? Welcome back, Kick. Hope you're doing good. Can I run my own text-to-speech? No, it... Reserve characters are used for channel point redeems and all these characters are obtainable via your Tangia Pass and by purchasing reserve characters. TTS and Aske I sent with bits, Tangia tokens, and charity tokens will never consume reserve characters. So I can... I can do text-to-speech without spending money because I have 180,000 characters remaining this month because of you guys. Damn. Hey. Three more levels on the Tangia Pass, and I'll be considered a partner. I'll be an affiliate. I don't know what that means, but I'll be an affiliate. It probably means nothing, honestly. But there we go. Tangia is open. Let's open up Mugen Monkey so I don't forget my build. Hi, Bone. Alright, I've had a weird day. It started off so good, so I went to bed last night feeling pretty good after streaming. 
I felt pretty good. I laid down in bed. I didn't have too hard of a time falling asleep. And I called into work and told them, hey, uh, I want two more hours of sleep. I want two more hours of sleep. So I'm going to be two hours late. And they were just like, okay. <laughs> because I, I have the hours, so it's covered. I did that, so I slept two more hours. I turned my six hour day into a four hour day, so it was a nice short day. I went into work and it wasn't crazy busy. Things were actually pretty, pretty calm. And it started raining. The weather was my favorite kind of weather. The air was nice and clean. It was, it was a very, very nice day of work. I finished my shift. I went over to the smoke shop and I got everything that I wanted to get. I got a grinder. I got a glass pipe. I got a, a, a lighter. I got a whole bunch of stuff. Got some papers, got some filters. Everything's good to go. Everything's ready. I just got to wait for my stuff to show up in the mail, right? So I was doing really good listening to music that I like a lot, like having a lot of good, positive memories coming back. And then I just got like kind of tired. I laid down for a moment and I had a dream that I barely remember, but I woke up just shook. So shook. And it was really weird. Cause like I woke up to the sound of a perfume bottle being sprayed and there was a nostalgic smell around the bed. And at first I thought like someone came into my room and spritzed me with one of the bottles that I have on the shelf back here. No. I, I, I woke up, my heart was pounding, my head was spinning, like I felt panicked. I, I opened up my phone for some reason, like I, I, I just felt terrible for a moment there. It was such a weird moment. And I know I, I had like a nightmare about Dev. And it's, ah, uh, that was so weird, dude. I was only asleep for like 10 minutes. I got up, got dressed, came back to my computer, started doing stuff, got myself out of that mental muck. But holy shit, that was such a weird, like, couple of minutes. That was so, it, it took me like super out of it. I have no idea what the hell was going on there. But man, I hate, I hate being so fucking volatile, man. I hate it. I hate not being over my ex. I hate all of it. I hate how quickly a good day can be soured because I get reminded how little she tried. Fucking sucks, man. So I'm gonna play Dark Souls. I'm not gonna wait. We're gonna start now. We're gonna do a long stream. We doing a long stream today, boys. The air is nice and clean. I have everything taken care of. I work tomorrow, but it's not going to be a bad day. And I get the day off after that. I got a nice drink. I got a whole bunch of drinks behind me. I've got a smoke in front of me. I, I, I just had Burger King. My cat's inside. He's nice and comfy. My room's nice and cozy. The air quality is amazing now that spring's around. So I've had like my window open permanently ever since it started warming up. I have had fresh spring air in this room. It's been really nice. <sighs> I just gotta relax and play video games. Relax and play video games. Uh-oh. Did Dark Souls crash? <coughs> Ouch. It did. God damn it, Dark Souls. I just opened you. You already crashing? What the hell, man? How about you guys? How are you guys doing, huh? Hopefully you guys are all having a good day. I'm glad to hear, Keg. There we go. Now the game's working. Also, I changed my audio filter. I was using the NVIDIA 
sound or nvidia broadcast sound canceling and i feel like that is going to be good for a lot of stuff but i'm switching back to the old noise cancellation for right now because bone the boner food is damn because like it, the, it's too good the sound canceling is too good it it, it deafens sneezes it, it silences me cracking open a can to drink or smoking. It silences the cat. Like, when I'm playing games and just doing stuff, I don't think it's good for it. It'll be good for, like, videos, but I don't think it's going to be good for streams, so... It, it gets rid of a level of authenticity. It, it takes away from feeling like you're in the room with me. Rebel against your oppressors. PNHR people's desk drawers and leave it. I'm, I'm fucking going to, my friend. I'm so... I want to quit my job so bad. I'm not stupid enough to just quit my job for nothing. But I want to. Let's go save... Uh, Big Hat Logan. Because I want Crystal Magic Weapon, the buff. Is mayonnaise a miracle? It might be. But yeah, that's been my day. Another really good day, muddied by fucking good memories hurting me. It was such a weird experience, too, waking up from that dream. I swear to God, I woke up to being sprayed by one of the perfume bottles that I bought. It smelled like it, and I heard it waking up. It was so weird. I think that's why I woke up so fucking frazzled. Like, my heart was pounding. My head was spinning. It was such a weird nap. Hi, Sky. I'm just quick, uh... Freeing Big Hat Logan, because I forgot to do it. When I came through. We've already got the Lord Vessel. I'm about to go cut Seath the Scaleless's tail off. Ow. We're making good progress, though. For sure, we're gonna kill two, maybe three of the lords today. Oh, fucking. I hate the fucking lightning lizard. Alright. Wait for them to whiff a lightning. Bam! Get dunked on, idiot. What's with, with the name change? So, it was an April Fool's thing that she does all the time. And now her name is locked. She can't unchange it. I think it's locked for 30 days, she said. Is it, boy? No. No lizard boy and the balls despawn. Interesting. I thought the ball would automatically adjust. There we go, now it's automatically adjusting. Wait for it. Oh, locked in for 20 bucks. That's right. You have to keep it till the end of the month. That's what it was. Alright, let's free Mr. Big Hat. I want his... Uh, he, he has to spawn in the Duke's archives, which is where we're going next. In order for me to get what I want, I want Crystal Magic Weapon, because that's the best... That's the best magic buff. It's only going to last for a moment, but it should help me cut Seat the Scaleless's tail off. But I looked it up, and apparently 
normal, but crystal and raw weapons can both have weapon buffs on them. Maybe I'm remembering Dark Souls 2 and 3 being different. Or maybe it's just Elden Ring Bran Rot. Hmm. You seem quite lucid. A rare thing in these times. Thanks. I am Logan. I'm a bit cooped up, as you can see. I have a bright idea. Suppose you set me free. Sure, Mr. Big Hat. I want a big hat like Logan. But I could repay you. IRL. I'd wear it around town. This place is melting my mind. The inactivity is repressive. Oh, heavens. Thank you. I'm saved. And I'd love to resume my travels, but I must log a few things first, and I owe you a favor. I will return to Firelink Shrine. Speak with me there, so that I may... So big you can't even sit in your car with it on. Exactly, I'll have to get a motorcycle and a belt to keep it strapped onto the top of my head. Alright, let's grab this. And now we can go back. Cool. Okay, so yesterday on stream, we rung both the bells, went to Ann Orlando, defeated uh, Fee Fi Fo Fat Ass and Zippy the Cockweasel, ran through the Painted World of Ariamis, ran through uh, the Undead Asylum, early stream with the actual fuck. You're late to that conversation, Zekin. <laughs> Who are you and what did you do? I finally did it! I streamed before 11.30 p.m. All it took was a terrible nightmare. In the middle of the day. We've, we've basically cleared all the starting stuff. Like, everything. We went down, killed the Capra Demon, got the large ember. So, what we're gonna do next is... Now that Logan's free. I, I guess I could just go straight to the Duke's archives, can't I? I'm gonna wait until after I clear the Duke archives to do Gwendolyn stuff. There you are. As promised, I will share my sorcery. Just because it breaks the bonfire there. Alright, he just has normal magic weapon. I'm gonna have to buy everything from him in order to get Heading his... Out, are you? I too will leave soon. Undead or no, I shan't stay here forever. You have great potential. Don't go and die over nothing. I won't. I have to buy all of his stuff so it'll go crazy and get naked. And then when he goes crazy and gets naked, I can go find him and kill him. And he'll drop the tin crystallization staff, which is the best staff in the game. So, let's do it. In Orlando. I should upgrade the halberd, actually. Because it's down to 9 durability. It's kind of nuts. Just how much stronger I am now that I realize that I can weapon buff... ...crystal weapons. I thought you couldn't weapon buff crystal weapons. I thought you could only weapon buff raw. So I was gonna make it raw. Yippee 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 yippee. Until I have the Moonlight Greatsword, I'm gonna be using this halberd for pretty much everything. Ayo raw, yep. So, in Dark Souls 1 actually has my favorite scaling system in all the Souls games, including Elden Ring. Because a lot of spells scale really fucking good. I talked about this a little bit yesterday. So, at least in the PvP scene, there is a massive weapon buffing. Uh, a massive weapon buffing... Uh, what, what's the term? Culture. A weapon buffing culture. 
Because in Elden Ring, if you buff a weapon, it will give you damage like 0.6 times your magic adjustment on whatever your casting implement is, right? And that's already pretty low. The spells are not affected by any talismans. The spells are not affected by literally anything. No, they do not scale the same in every game. Hear this. That's every spell. Every spell has like a 0.6 times magic adjustment buff. In Dark Souls 1, if you are in the Dark Moon Covenant, max it out and use Dark Moon Blade, it is a 2.1 times magic adjustment buff. It is three times bigger of a buff than Elden Ring's buffs do. It's not worth it to buff a weapon in Elden Ring. That's why nobody buffs weapons. Everyone goes like an infusion with the Art of War, or they just use big, special, powerful magic boss weapons, which is cool, but that's why almost everyone uses fucking Moon Veil, Rivers of Blood, Blasphemous Blade, and, and, and the, the giant Ruin Sword. It's because there's no point in buffing your weapons. There's no point in running anything that can be buffed. In Dark Souls 1, it was different because what the usual build would consist of is you would go 40 into strength or dex for the weapon. Just be standard on the weapon and then go like 30 or 35 into intelligence or faith and then do a weapon buff. If you go back and watch PvP from Dark Souls 1, almost everyone used Sunlight Blade, Dark Moon Blade, Crystal Magic Weapon. I loved it. It was so much fun. And there's just no point in doing it in Elden Ring. And it makes me so sad. And the, the reason that buffs working with Crystal or um, Raw weapons matter so much is this game does have infusions like Elden Ring does kind of you can upgrade into magic you can upgrade into uh, lightning you can upgrade into different paths that scale off of magic or intelligence yada 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 but they have a whole bunch of special scalings there's chaos which is a fire upgrade that does not scale off of stats, it scales off of how much humanity you currently have on you. There's raw, which has almost no scaling. It lowers the scaling, but raises the flat damage. And then crystal is the same, look. The scaling is completely different between crystal and normal. It is completely different. So going crystal makes your weapon really, really fragile but it gives it a massive flat damage boost. So going a crystal weapon and then buffing it with a really high scaling spell gives you a ton of damage. That's why I'm able to kill stuff as quickly as I can. And there is only one way to repair a crystal weapon. That's upgrading it. So until I have the Moonlight Sword, I'm going to be able to use this, because now it's back to 20 of 20 durability. I love the way scaling works in this game compared to the other games. It feels like, at least with Dark Souls 1 and Demon Souls, they were more focused on having a whole bunch of- you guys don't understand how many weird obscure systems there are in this game that most people will never experience once ever. Grave Lording, Miracle Resonance, the Vagrants, which are a monster that almost nobody has seen because they're that rare to have spawn. That's the one biggest thing I hope for more than anything else in Elden Ring with the DLC. I want Covenants. Please, please, please give Covenants. Yeah, I watched a 30 minute video about uh, miracle resonance earlier while I was at work. It was an awesome video. I tried to roll between his legs and I couldn't. Can you fucking do a normal attack, you big bitch? Finally. Every time I replay it, I find new shit. Hell yeah. I've played this game a thousand times and I have thousands of hours in it, so I already know everything because I've been playing it for like a decade. Well over a decade, but 
it's so cool how much there is that people are still figuring out stuff about. Like only recently did people start figuring out. D did, did you play this game back on like the Xbox 360 when it was first new? Because if you did, back then you'd see these little white circles on the ground. Specific miracles, if you cast them there, anyone connected to your world would have that little circle spawn on the ground for 30 seconds. And while you're next to it, spell certain miracles will get buffed by the ring on the ground. It's a mechanic where miracle users can buff each other through their shared faith, which is such a cool thing. And it can be buffed massively. If you are standing next to 10 of those rings, your, your spells that get buffed get really fucking buffed. It's so cool. Got the pig. Skyrim Restoration Loop. And it it's some healing spells, some damage spells, like Wrath of Gods is one of them. I, I'm pretty sure if I remember correctly, like if you have max resonance, uh Wrath of the Gods has like double the range and like 40 bonus flat damage just added on. It's awesome. Ow. Fuck you, pig. that take to hold their ability i really got yeah i got the helmet it's the helmet that i tried to get at the very beginning look at that piggy boy cool i'm really happy i got all the gargoyle loot i managed to get the halberd drop the helmet and i cut off one of the axes what is up, Terran? All right, I will save some of my durability because I gotta make sure the durability is up when I reach seat the scale list in order to cut his tail off. Fat roll? How long am I gonna fat roll around? Don't die to single backstabs yet. Ouch. Forgot how much these fuckers hurt. Ouch. You not? Oh my god, why did stab? Why did, why did he kick? Why'd he kick? Ah, whatever. I tried to backstab the other dude and it kicked. Fine. Classic kick. I didn't even put the forward input for kicking. I've done that a lot on this game. I think it's because I'm trying to do running attacks like in Demon Souls. Bro was not having that back shot, I guess. Fine. I'll burn a buff. I know this section's pretty long though, and I don't want to waste my buffs. But also, these crystal guys are really strong. I'm definitely not supposed to be going here first, but I want the Moonlight Greatsword, so I don't care. I never try to kick. 
Every time I've kicked in this playthrough, it's been an accident. It has not been intentional. You're fucking with me. Fuck the channel here. I don't remember there being this many of these guys. I'm trying to backstab. Assume you're playing Barbie Dreamhouse. Incredibly based. Alright, we're bum rushing this idiot. He teleported away. on this guy. Whoa! Frame drop? That's the first frame drop I've had this playthrough. I am not willing to test the validity of that statement. <laughs> That hurt so much. Ah. Holy shit, that hurt. My god. I know he's buffed, but ouch. Will they drop their tridents this run? It'd be interesting, it'd be cool. I want to do the funny dance. I can't think of the dance as anything other than the tribe dance. Because of the old fucking tribe video. I almost want to just pull out the crystal halford and kill this motherfucker. <laughs> Fuck you, bitch. Can you let me through, you piece of shit? Ouch. Die. Come on. Nah, I didn't drop it. Oh. All the other RNG weapons you've gotten, but not the tridents. I've gotten the tridents before. I've also gotten the armor. But it was a long time ago. How is this guy buffed? The dude's dead. That archer has insane poise. It's... They're crystal dudes. They're made of rocks. Crystal lads. Bonk. One at a time, come on. Yippee ki -yay. Motherfucker. God, this game makes me so nostalgic. It just brings back so many memories of my childhood, man. 
That's why I was so worried about using my buffs. The weapon buffs. Now I'm out of weapon buffs. That's a mimic. And I have no weapon buffs. I'll come back for you later. Is this one also a mimic? This one isn't. Give. More Twinkling Titanite. I can't remember. I don't think Twinkling Titanite... Does Twinkling Titanite buff the Moonlight Sword? I don't think it does. It's a dragon weapon, technically. Don't Dragon Scales buff it? I don't remember. Alright, let's go see the, the Living From Soft Kingsfield reference. Look at me, I'm so bacony. Like a big bacon boy. Oh. Well, I mistimed that by a mile. Come on, swing. Never mind. These the attacks are so delayed. He's delaying his attacks so fucking long. What are you, an Elden Ring boss? Huh? What are you, some sort of Elden Ring boss, huh? Go on, heavy attack me again. Sit the fuck down, boy. Hi, Sun V. Welcome home. Mr. Perry the world. I redeemed myself at the end. Boss fight. Let's go. Damn, I really, I really tried. That was rough. I almost had him. I guess we don't have a smug emote, do we? Well, guys, start gifting members. Just need like 90 more members and then, and then we can get another. Oh! Holy shit, I didn't actually mean it, Zane. <laughs> oh my god. Is it actually going to give 20 whole members out? Wait, you didn't? I mean, if you guys, if you guys want to, it's your choice. <laughs> Holy shit. Oh my god, I just sat down at the bonfire. I'm, an, I'm a goddamn idiot. Well. Get the key. Look at this. Look at this bozo. Look at this bozo sleeping on a job. Fuck it. Wake up. Idiot. Give me that key.
Alright. Weird, very small, scrunched serpent man. Fane, money, and love last name. No. You don't get to leave. That guy can, though. You're free! Squiddies. My god, guys, the Squidward. These characters are technically waifus. Go on, grab me. She grabbed me, uwu. Yummy. Drinky drink. Fuck. Fuck. What do you mean technically? True. Move. Me next. It's your turn, Sunby. Your turn to get smooched by the octopus women. They're maidens. That should have been me! Sit down, boy. You happen to love sushi? Bone apathy. Bond ap the queef. Bon Jovi. Sushi. I want more sushi. I finally had sushi for the first time again in so long. Like real sushi, not fucking grocery store sushi. I went to the sushi place in town for the first time since it has to have been over a year and a half. I had I had takoyaki. I had a snow bunny roll, and I had a red dragon roll. Mm-mm. Shit was so fucking good. I gotta put all these pretty women out of their misery because this is... Do not mention the T word, I'll be exp <laughs> That did it spend another three dollars on another sixteen dollar or another three dollar box of sixteen takoyaki got the circuit. Alright. I'm sorry you two. I'll put you out of your misery. That sounds so good, Iggy. That actually sounds so good. I hope that with the Elden Ring DLC, they just bring in a whole bunch of weird obscure mechanics like Dark Souls 1 had. I gotta go 
for backstabs. I missed the backstab. Staggered me out of my backstab, you fucker. Do not kill me right now after I've gotten this fucking far. I'm. I didn't press it twice! I didn't, I saw that it was down. I pressed down to switch. I need a new fucking controller, man. The D-pad's broken. It keeps pressing the right button when I'm not pressing it. And now my fucking inputs are all wonky. I need a new controller. When I, like watch when I press up, it it swaps the side sometimes. My buttons are wearing out and shit. It's fucking pissing me off cuz I did not press square twice. But whatever, I guess. Running attack, one shot. The non-running attack does not. What if they drop? Oh, humanity. I'll take it. Thank God I have a case shake just a bit ago. I can now hear about food without getting hungry. <laughs> yeah, I, I I am hungry. I did eat earlier, but I'm already starting to get a little bit hungry. I'm always hungry and sleepy. It's a lifestyle. Very base lifestyle. If I'm the sushi I like, you're probably going to call me a heretic for this, but crab, salmon with garlic sauce, blowtorch. That sounds good. Why would that be a, a heretic thing? Crab and salmon are both good, and I actually like fried rolls. You fucker. My favorite roll is a deep fried roll. Ow. Okay. Cool. Just jump farther than you have any reasonability to jump. That should have been a backstab. I swear to God, man, it's not giving me backstabs. There we go. Now it's just one. Now I don't gotta worry about fucking failing the backstab. 
American sushi. It is not an American sushi. It is actually a authentic Japanese sushi. Frying sushi rolls inverted with panko crumbs is a Japanese thing. It is not an American thing. Alright, cut the key. Spider crab roll is so fucking good. Spider roll in general is one of my favorites. But here, can I can I find what the roll is? Give me a second. Can I see the menu for Sakura Express? Will it tell me what the All right, where is it? Where is the Godzilla roll? Um, where is it? That's just normal sushi rolls. How special rolls. Here we go. Tempura fried rolls. There it is. The Godzilla roll. Crab, avocado, and spicy tuna deep fried with special eel sauce and god it's called oh uh, it's called the godzilla roll because it is thick it is huge it, like it is just a massive roll i'm pretty sure i have pictures of it it is so good it's my favorite oh i don't have the key yet hello again alas i'm imprisoned once again the archives. Such a storehouse of knowledge. So close, but just out of reach. I don't have fast press. Me, so I could simply die. As a student of the arts, you understand me, yeah? Yes. I'll be back with the key, buddy. The only Panda Express that I ever get to go to is in Fargo, which is a different state. When I go there to get my brain evaluated by some nerd who went to school for way longer than me. fucked up bro hey just because i don't have an, a panda express doesn't mean i don't have a ton of asian food options we have authentic vietnamese places we have chinese places buffet and takeout we have a jap a sushi place a ramen place we have a lot it's really fucking good Turn around. Do it again. Ironically, they're almost all owned by the same people. Although, it's been a long time since I've been to the Vietnamese place. It's been a really long time. Even if their food is really good. Yeah, well, I have like two Asian stores and a sushi place. Get down. Oh. There you go. This nerd doesn't ingest MSG. It, yeah, I do. It, I just said I eat a lot of Asian food. Vietnam isn't the only fucking Asian country that has MSG. Family Chinese place and a Japanese place like an hour out of the way. 
We just got a bunch of shit. I have a lot of nice restaurants. It's just... It's almost impossible to justify going to a restaurant alone when it's not fast food. Because normally it's just like, oh, I'll just go through the drive-thru and get my food. All these places are like locally owned authentic restaurants where you have to like go in in order to get your fucking food. Talking about Sky, not everything's about you. Fair. We'll be back later, gotta go game with the boys. Sounds good, Zach and have fun. Fuck you. And he teleported away. Fuck me. Alright, uh, I hate these motherfuckers, so... It is... Crystal Halberd time. I wanna three-shot him. I wanna three-shot him. He's dead. Please miss me. There we go. The bonfire down there. It doesn't go all the way down, I forgot. I forgot just how many random little goobers there are in this place. Like, there's so many of them. Every corner I turn, it's like two of them, and I'm like, I don't remember these two being here. No loot there. Fuck you. Shoulder checking bastard. Crazy the amount of enemies compared to Dark Souls 2, Scholar the First Sin. That's the next game we're playing. I've been talking about Dark Souls 2 a lot while playing this because people have been asking so many questions since it is the ugly duckling of the series. Not a bad game, it's just not the best Souls game. And I still played the shit out of it. Well, there's a whole bunch of reasons to like Dark Souls 1 and 3 more. Like a ton of reasons that aren't objective either. It's, or, or that are just objective and are not opinionated is what I meant to say. Ow, arrows curving. Thankfully, though, Scholar of the First Sin fixes a lot of the problems that original Dark Souls 2 had. Like, original Dark Souls 2 had no fucking connection to Dark Souls 1 at all. Thanks to Aldia showing up, at least the, you got someone talking about Gwyn. Which is a pretty big revelation, I might add, and getting a lot of information about how much Gwyn fucked up by starting the cycles. It is cool. I don't want to spoil too much, though, because we're going to be playing through it, and a lot of people watching this have not seen the game. And they're looking forward to seeing it. Bop. never beat it. The ending is really good. If you get the true ending and do all the DLC, it's really good. It's one of my favorite boss fights because I love the character so much. Why'd I kick?
Got him. Give? No. Forget now, but it was like two or three bosses from the end. I didn't check up there for loot yet before I go around, so I'll turn this. There's a chest over here, if I remember correctly. Yeah, and it's not a mimic. Strong magic shield. Might end up being useful at some point. The one thing that I'm not excited about Dark Souls 2, this playthrough, well, it is a great game, and I love some of the story, and a lot of the areas I really like. Man, I don't want to play the combat. The clunky-ass, slow-ass roll. I saw someone made a mod for Dark Souls 2 where the dodging and the attacking are the animations from Dark Souls 1. And it looked so much more fun and flowed so much better. It looked so much less slow. I, I watched a video today of someone showing just a compilation of Dark Souls 2's bosses just hitting you when you're dodging properly anyways. And the combat just being real wonky and shit. I was like, yep. That's, that's Dark Souls. That's Dark Souls 2. That's our baby. That's our boy. Still a great game. But still the worst Dark Souls game. Now, where's the key to... Ouch. Where's the key to save... Big Hat Logan? Is this it? Nope. You can finally save the leveling and death. Why would you do that? What is wrong with you? Got the channel there, robes. Get the giant selfie. That's a mimic. Wish me luck, friends. Mimic time. I love crystal weapons. The, the biggest problem with Dark Souls 2 is for every step forward they do, they do two, step, two steps back. And by that, I mean more than two. There are, there are a lot. I think there's like 24 in total, something like that. They're in a lot of areas. Let's light this bonfire. We'll go back and save Big Hat Logan because I need the crystal magic weapon spell for Seath the Scaleless. I'm not going to spend these souls because I need to hold on to them in order to afford his spells. I, I, I feel kind of stupid trying to explain why there's so much about Dark Souls 2 that's bad, but I feel like it's going to be so much better to show it than say it. You guys will see it when we play the game, okay? You guys will see every complaint, every gripe, and every problem that the game has when we play through it. Let's see, I have a sort of perspective question. Would you say that Dark Souls 2 is to Dark Souls what Super Paper Mario is to... No. Dark Souls 2 is to... I'm trying to think of a good, a good explanation. Dark Souls 2 is not a Souls game. That's the best way to put it. It is so insanely different in like every way. It feels like a Souls-like fan game off of Steam more than an actual Souls game. It feels like a fan game. It's still a great Souls-like, but it does not feel like a proper Souls game. That's the problem with it.
It's got so much about it that's really weird. It, it's a hefty accusation. You'll see. You don't understand. When you see how rolling works, when you see how fucking stamina works, when you see how hollowing works, when you see how bonfire aestheticing works, when you see how slow healing is, when you see how enemies have input reading to automatically punish you when you heal, when you see how invincibility frames work, when you see how equip loads work, when you see how the bosses are set up, when you see how level design is handled, and when you see how much is unfinished, you will 100% understand. Within 10 seconds of the game starting when you see the wonky weird trippy intro animation yeah when you heal it input like they specifically programmed it so that if you pop healing enemies will use their longest range attack to try and hurt you and when you see how many times you fight the same boss the game has a ton of bosses but it doesn't because so many bosses are reused bosses you fight the Dragon Rider near the beginning. Later, you fight two Dragon Riders. You fight the Belfry Gargoyles from Dark Souls 1 as a boss in Dark Souls 2, except it's smaller and there's more of them. You fight the Smelter Demon, and then you fight the Blue Smelter Demon. Like, on the same frame as you pressing SS button, they start the shooting animation. Actually, that's true. That is 100% true. It's real. And you can walk while healing to make up for it, but you walk really slowly. And then also torches have a burn time mechanic. It's not a, a tool that you hold up. It's like an activatable item that has a duration. Like there's so much cool that Dark Souls 2 does, but for everything cool Dark Souls 2 does that sets it aside, it sets it so drastically aside that it does not feel like a Dark Souls game. And you you will not understand just how insanely bad of a Souls sequel it is until you see Dark Souls 3. I gotta I gotta iterate this. When Dark Souls 2 came out, everybody loved it. It it was weird. It was wonky. There was tons of strangeness about it. The startup animation for healing with Anestis you can walk, and then as you actually down it, it you do stand still. You are right. Um there's a whole bunch of weird stuff about it, but it 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 did not feel that out of place. It's like, oh the game evolved, the game evolved. Then Dark Souls 3 came out. And when Dark Souls 3 came out, everyone realized what the sequel to Dark Souls 1 should have been. <coughs> Dark Souls 3 is the Dark Souls 2 we deserve. And Dark Souls 2 is the new IP that never should have been given Dark Souls' name. Because until Miyazaki came and did Scholar of the First Sin, Dark Souls 2 had almost nothing in common with Dark Souls 1, and lore-wise, had almost nothing connecting it. At all. Dragons are completely different. The overarching story is completely different. The way fire keepers are is different. The overarching world is different. They retcon so much, and then Dark Souls 3 retcons it. Almost everything about Dark Souls 2 is retconned. The only things about Dark Souls 2 that are not retconned is that cycles are continuing, all the existed, and there's a push-up bra. Everything else is retconned. Dark Souls 2 doesn't even have patches. Do you do you know why? Do you actually know why, Sky? There's a real reason why Dark Souls 2 doesn't have patches. It's Miyazaki's character. Miyazaki didn't let them use him because he didn't make the game. So they made a new patches. The weird dude that has has a has a problem with the guy whose name starts with a C, Creighton. Yeah. Yeah. Patches is Miyazaki's character. That's why that's why Patches is in Bloodborne, but not Dark Souls 2. Because Miyazaki was making Bloodborne while FromSoft made Dark Souls 2 without him. But then Miyazaki came back and is like, no, 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 let me do it right and made Scholar of the First Sin, which fixes almost all the major flaws that Dark Souls 2 had lore wise, fixes a lot of the overworld and fixes some interactions. And then 
he made Dark Souls 3 to say this is what you guys should have done, alright? I got grabbed. Still has 20 times the enemies though, yeah. At least they're rearranged. Somewhat. You, you won't understand until we get to it. I don't want to talk too much about it because you you will not understand until you see it. You have to see it. It's like... It's like you can tell the game was made by a different director. It had a whole different team behind it. You'll see. It's a great game, but it is the worst Souls game because it's more Souls-like than a Souls game for real. It feels like a really amazing- like one of the best fan Souls games in the world. Scholar of the First Sin at least ties in a little bit. Because until Aldia shows up, there's almost nothing connecting- there, there's nothing connecting the game. Even the ending's weird. You don't even light a fire. You sit on a chair. At least with Aldia, they change it. Oh, thank you very much. I'm saved. That makes twice. I must be sure to repay you. Yes. I will visit the archives. If I discover any new spells, I shall share them with you. Thank Prepare you. Prepare to be impressed by the onward march of sorcery. Why do I keep hearing the pufferfish moan every time you're hit? It does sound very similar. And a Firekeeper Soul. Perfect. I gotta go get the Firekeeper Soul out of New Londo. I can't forget that. I really need to upgrade my Estus Flask. It takes two chugs just to full heal. It's a big accusation, but that's why so many people are bipolar about it. Either, you, either Dark Souls 2 is your favorite game, or it's your least favorite game. There is no in-between. And that's because Dark Souls, either you like Dark Souls 2's formula more than you like Dark Souls. Or you like Dark Souls and Dark Souls 2 is a good game, it's just not as good. Everybody who likes Dark Souls 2 more, well, or everybody who thinks Dark Souls 2 is the best game will say that Dark Souls 3 was a step back because it goes back to Dark Souls 1 and away from Dark Souls 2's weird stuff. This bonfire is cut off, interesting. Access 2 functionally only has one ending, no matter what you said on that throne. Yeah. Yeah. Because sitting on the throne isn't lighting the bonfire or not lighting the- or rekindling the fire. Like, you- it's kind of headcanon what you do. At least with Aldia, there's a true ending. And you guys will all get to see it when we play it. Because I do love it. It is still one of my favorite games of all time. In the same way, Sekiro is one of my favorite games of all time. Not a Souls game, but it's Souls-like and it's a very good FromSoft game. I still think they if they really should have just replaced the word hollowing with like rotting and then gave it a different name than Dark Souls 2. No one would know that it was supposed to be a Dark Souls sequel. That's how little it has in common with Dark Souls 1. No one would know. And they could have done a whole series around it, which I think would have been awesome, because there's a lot of things about Dark Souls 2 that are- that is great. Okay, I can't, uh... I got a Kindle. I got a Kindle. Because I'm about to fight Seath. Still wish they would have renamed Assassin's Creed after AC3 Armored Core, yeah. As someone who has over 2,000 hours in Dark Souls 2, I'm allowed to give my critiques on Hello it. Hello there. I was expecting you. This place is truly magnificent, more than expected even. As promised, I shall share the new sorceries with you. Thank you. And the secret of Seath's immortality. Pog. Give me crystal magic weapon. Yeah. Ah. 
The secret of Seath's immortality. If you have fought him and were imprisoned, you must know that Seath is a true undead, different from ourselves. His wounds close promptly, and no mortal blow affects him, granting true insulation from death. Welcome back, His second. wounds close promptly, and no mortal blow affects <laughs> him. repeated the land twice. Granting true insulation from death. It is an effect of the primordial crystal. A sacred treasure pillaged by Seath when he turned upon the ancient dragons. So only by destroying the primordial crystal can you so much as scratch his hide. Sounds good. And it so happens. The primordial crystal is in the inner garden of these very archives. The crystal forest. Go on. Let's drop it at that. Farewell. Farewell. Let's go grab crystal magic weapon and let's go cut Seath's tail off. Then I will use the souls that Seath gives me to... Oh, wait. No. A tune. We'll use the souls that Seath gives me to finish buying everything from Logan. I guess there's no point, actually. I don't need to make Logan go crazy, do I? I'm gonna have the Moonlight Sword. This is technically the last little bit that I'm even gonna be using Crystal Magic Weapon. Because I'm gonna get the Moonlight Greatsword, and that's gonna be that. I was thinking about it more while I was at work today. The big hat is cool, that's true. I could get his big hat. I was thinking about it more at work today. I know why I'm not very happy with the Dark Moon Greatsword and Elden Ring, and why I want a actual Moonlight Greatsword so badly. And I was kind of realizing that every time From Software has implemented the Moonlight Greatsword, they have chained like it's oh 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 oh. oh. Holy shit. Oh, that scared the shit out of me. Crystal Golem, yep. So, uh, with every implementation of the Moonlight Greatsword, it's the last Moonlight Greatsword, but they change one thing fundamentally about it. In Kingsfield, it was a sword made of Moonlight, created by Gyra to kill Seath, the Dragon of Light. And then in Demon Souls, it was, again, a sword made of moonlight, but this time, it was a revelation from God. It was a powerful artifact. That's the last time that it was truly a faith-based, like, weapon created by a super powerful deity to kill something dangerous. In Dark Souls 1, they, they added Seath, but Seath is all about, like, crystals and shit. So they were like, well, it's the Moonlight Greatsword, but it's Seath's crystals. And crystals are intelligence in Dark Souls, so we're going to make it an intelligence weapon this time. Okay. And then in Dark Souls 2, it was it's a crystal weapon, and it's made by the old remnants of Seath's thing. But it's... Ouch! Hold on, hold on. I can finish my thought after surviving these two. It's the Moonlight Greatsword, but this time it's not attached to Seath. Technically it is, because it's made with the old Pale Drake Soul. But it's it's not a, a weapon made from Seath's tail anymore. Now it comes from his soul. So it's already starting to deviate. Now it's deviated twice. Then Dark Souls 3 comes around. And it's not even it doesn't even involve Seath at all. It's a dragon's weapon that you make from Osiris's soul. So it's even farther away from what it was before. And then in Bloodborne, it was kind of its own thing. It was a holy weapon at least. But then we go from that into Elden Ring. And now it's not even connected to a dragon. It's just a, an intelligence weapon. So like every time it gets implemented in a game, they change like a fundamental part about why it exists. 
and now it's been changed like five times. So it's like nothing similar to what it originally was anymore. It's just kind of similar in shape. Now it does it does status damage. It's not even made of light anymore. It's, it's just a cold sword. That's why I really hope that they have a true moonlight sword. The backstory of Thesis, it, it, it's very similar. Like word of mouth, it's like every time it shows up, it changes a little bit. And it's not bad. That's them. That's them changing it to match the story, right? Okay. This part always makes me so anxious. I think we will. Do you know why? Because we did in Dark Souls Three. In Dark Souls Three, they had the Moonlight Greatsword. But then. At the end of the last DLC of Dark Souls 3, they added the old Moonlight spell, which is a reference to the Moonlight Greatsword from Kingsfield. They brought a true reference to Kingsfield into the game, even after the Moonlight Greatsword already existed. They've done it before. Not the actual weapon. I don't care. As long as it's a true Moonlight Greatsword. I don't care if it's the actual weapon. I just want a true Moonlight Greatsword. Yep. Hidden paths. You can tell by the weird little crystals dropping down. Fuck. Do not fall. This is slippery. And you can fall off while running across it. Yep, just like that. I landed directly on the path, but I slipped off because the topology is all fucked. That's what I was talking about. That's all right. We're just going to speed run this area. I can't slowly kill all the golems on those paths. And if I slip off, it is what it is. We're going to kind of brute force this part. We just got to get down to the bottom alive so that we can fight Seath. That's okay. Don't worry. You take your time, man. You have fun doing what you're doing. Mandatory hidden paths. Yep. FromSoft likes their invisible pathways and fake walls. They've been doing it since Kingsfield. Their very first game. I just want a true Kingsfield reference because the Dark Moon Greatsword's great. They are cool. They are. They're stylistic as hell. A secret room behind a bookcase, exactly. I just I just want a real Kingsfield reference. I want them to pay homage to the game that got them started. Kung Fu kicks are going to be awesome in the DLC. You know what I want more than anything in the DLC, though? Covenants. I want Covenants back. Right now, there's, like, no incentive to PvP. There's invade people, and you can only be invaded if uh, you have friends summoned. Otherwise, it's strictly the Coliseum. I think Covenants would give people a reason to be invaded, to invade each other. Nice. I'm slipping. I want Covenants back. I want Covenants back so fucking bad. It would be so cool if they like went back and they added Covenants for a whole bunch of the stuff. That exists already. Like imagine if they changed it so that Gravelord Nito style. They added a Covenant where if you go to Mog before you kill him. You can pray to him and join the Bloody Fingers Covenant. And then while in the Bloody Fingers Covenant, you can uh, get new spells and shit. New blood spells that they add in the DLC by invading people's worlds and killing them. And then Mikula has like an anti-Mog thing because fuck Mog or something. No, no that wouldn't make sense. Mikula's going to be after Mog. I, I just want covenants, man. 
They have so many groups, so many subgroups, so many sub sects. And the fact that they don't have any covenants is so sad. Imagine having a covenant that Grave Lords worlds. Imagine having a covenant where you want to be invaded. Imagine having a covenant where you help people who are being invaded. Imagine having a covenant that incentivizes helping people fight bosses and everything. Like, I want all of it. Alright, let's do it. Let's cut this big bitch's tail off. I actually hate this fight, so we'll see if I do really good on the first try or not. His hitbox is just way too big. Why are these guys in here? They're not supposed to be able to come into the boss arena. You're not supposed to be here. I panicked because of the fucking clams. Why did they go in the river? That's not, that's not how they work. Thanks, game. The enemies aren't supposed to be able to go through the fog gate. They're supposed to stop outside of it. This whole run has been wonky. So many things are working weird. Never seen random mods. That they're not supposed to. There's an invisible wall there. They can't go through the invisible wall. This whole run has been scuffed. So much is broken. It's been really weird. That's a first. If the crabs didn't show up, I would have been fine. I actually got behind them and landed a really good hit. And now I gotta go all the way through it all over again because of that shit. Motherfucker. I want America Thighs Covenant. I'd pr I'd pray to that. I want uh, uh, those who live in death covenant that protects those who live in death. Like, just li literally a covenant where you invade people who are attacking areas that have those who live in death. And then a Golden Order covenant where you specifically hunt the people who are part of that covenant. And you counter invade inside the catacombs. A Mogwin uh, covenant. A, a, a Beast Cleric covenant. I want I want a Rani Covenant or a Karian Manor Covenant where you join with Renala. I want so many different covenants. There's have so many options. Fia's feet covenant, exactly. They have so many options and they just don't do any of it. It's kinda sad. This guy didn't spawn. Like Pansu. Alright, we beat our head against this wall. This metaphorical wall, my friends. No crabs. Ouch! I fucking hate the crabs. See, they're not supposed to be able to come in with me.
Oh no, Bones got you hearing the puffer fish too. Come on, cast your breath attack. I need your tail to not be in the wall, you piece of shit. Yeah, come over here. Oh, he's. I gotta break his crystal. I'm a fucking idiot. Why did I think it was still broken? Soldier of God, Rick Covenant, true. I would. I would follow Soldier of God, Rick, anywhere. His tail is in the wall. Get away from the wall, you massive cunt. Literally your only special thing is that I can cut off your tail to get a weapon. And you are positioning yourself so that your tail is in a wall and I cannot cut it off. Ouch. And I got 100%ed because he can hit me while I'm knocked down. He's the only boss that can do that. Time to keep beating my head against this wall. Eventually I'll get him. My weapon's actually getting low durability, that's not good. I have 9 durability left to kill him. Or at least cut his tail off. I wish I had a better weapon buff than crystal magic weapon to use against them. Just because I'm pretty sure he has really high magic resistance. I don't think I even knew he had a tail. Yeah, his big central tail, you can cut it off and you get the Moonlight Greatsword by doing that. Technically, it's more of a tentacle than a tail, but... I mean, he does kind of have a tentacle body and weird dragonfly wings. He's not normal. Just killed him from the front. Fair. But he is a dragon. That's another thing I want in Elden Ring's DLC. I want bosses that have body parts you can cut off to get loot. It's such a it's such a uniquely FromSoft thing, and I'm so sad there's none of it in FromSoft in in Elden Ring. There's none of that in Elden Ring. There's no there's no covenants in Elden Ring. It's just God, there's so much I want from the other games in Elden Ring. Cuz there's so much that the other games do good. Slipping inside and all. All right, Mr. Krabby boy, please do not crab on me. There's a lot of stuff. It does have a lot of stuff, but it could always have more. I'm not complaining saying that Elden Ring doesn't have enough. I'm saying there are certain there are certain from software staples that I would like to see in it. Made it. Don't hit me to the fuck gate. All right, I'm good. All right, let's get ready to buff. Get him to turn around. Unless I can get a hit off. I got a hit off. By that, let him turn around. I'm gonna do another breath attack. And I didn't even get one attack off because he started swinging his tail around all crazy. Oh, I hate cutting this guy's tail off, and I'm stuck. 
And I'm stuck, I can't move. And I'm in the wall. Can't even get past this little fucking tentacle here. I just get stuck in the wall. Oh my fucking god, I'm dead. I'm not dead. Such a dog shit fight. His, his, the arena is not big enough for his giant ass body. Got it. Got it. Now we kill him normally. Do I have the stats to use it? Yeah, I do. But it's unupgraded, so switching to it now would be a bad idea. So you really didn't know that you could cut his tail off like that, Sky? I mean, I guess if you never, if you never went for it. Ah, these crystals still lag. They lagged Xboxes and Playstations back then. And they still lag PCs now. Gotta get away. Yeah, I attacked the identical things, but not all the way at the back. Yep. Like you said, even now, playing the game, you can still discover new things that you never knew. Kill him. Just as the weapon's about to break. Hell yeah. Nailed it. Killed that weapon risk. Yep. Big tentacle. Did the souls that I had when I came here despawn? I thought I picked them back up. But I guess not. So you're getting that big hat? It's gonna cost a lot of souls to fully buy everything from them, but I can. And now we have it, boys. The Moonlight Greatsword. This sword, one of the rare dragon weapons, came from the tale of Sita Scalus, a pale white dragon who betrayed his own. Sita is the grandfather of sorcery, and this sword is imbued with his magic, which shall be unleashed as a wave of moonlight. So I can do this. Yeah, moonlight! Hell yeah. That is one thing I will say. I think... Dark Souls 2's Moonlight Greatsword is actually, gameplay-wise, my favorite Moonlight Greatsword. I love using it. It feels so good to use. The Dark Souls 3 one is really great with the plunge attack, but in Dark Souls, when I was playing Dark Souls 2 using that sword, oh, it felt so good. I spent so much time in the arenas. You have no idea just how much time I spent in the arenas. I spent so much time in the arena of blood, talking to that shitty little gremlin dude. We'll go upgrade the sword after this. I need to get more dragon scales. And I gotta remember where those are. And I'm pretty sure this gets upgraded with dragon scales. Oh, hello there. Time is a resource. Let's delve in promptly. True. Give. Give. Give, 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 give. Come again. The knowledge here is limitless. With a plus one Estus Flask too. I killed Seath pretty damn early on. 
kind of proud of myself. Exactly, Sky. It's moonlight time, baby. Big hat time? I don't think I can buy all of his stuff yet. It's not big hat time yet. Hello there. Oh, I understand. Yeah, I can't buy everything yet. I'm close though. I need eighty thousand. Come souls. again, for I too learned whilst teaching a student. With eighty thousand souls, I can, I can do it. But the Moonlight Great Sword is no longer a sword made of light. Now it's a crystal that uses intelligence. From here on out, that is what it will be. Plus, also, Dark Souls 2 had two Moonlight Great Swords. So I wouldn't be surprised if they add a second actual Moonlight Great Sword. Because they had a fake Moonlight Great Sword in Dark Souls 2 also called the Blue Moon Sword. Uh, let's go get the kindling... Uh, I gotta upgrade my sword, that's right. Let's go talk to the... Let's go talk to Andre. Hey, Andre! I love you, Andre! March my weapons, Andre! Show me that ember of yours. Hmm. How about leaving that ember with me? Yes. I find it strangely fascinating. Neither of us would want to see you go yes. hollow. Well, thank you. This ember really is something special. I'm already under its spell. I sense great potential indeed. Yeah, I need dragon scales and a lot of them in order to upgrade this at all. Hold on, let me check my build. Mugen Monkey Dark Souls 1. Make sure I'm doing everything right here. Okay, good. Uh, all right. Cool. Okay, so there's a bunch of places that I know of that we can get dragon scales. Uh, we could go fight the Hydras. Fighting the Hydras would give us dragon scales. There's the undead dragon in the Valley of the Drakes. That would give us dragon scales. Mm, I think that's it. There's There's a couple in Ash Lake, isn't there? Well, we'll, we'll fight the Hydras. We'll do a Hydra run. Bro has the hands. Look at this oh, unit. Saying, you know. Be careful out there. You're not wrong. Look at this fucking beefcake. Dude's built like a truck. Sadly unupgraded though, my sword isn't actually better than my Claymore yet. There are a lot in Ash Lake. Are there? I thought there were only like three. You get like one from the Hydra. There's one sitting somewhere. And then there's one in the tree's hollow, isn't there? All right. So the first hydra. First hydra's right here, actually. Yeah, the Hydra and Ash Lake. Thought I said that. You get one from the Hydra and Ash Lake, one from a body, there's one in the tree if I remember. God, the Hydras suck. I, I, I completely have memorized how they work, and now they're not a problem at all for me. Because they're really, they do the exact same thing every time. I used to struggle with them a lot. God, I hate the lingering hitbox of these stupid trees. And, uh, 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 one of his whip arms wasn't even within like 10 feet of me there and I took damage. 
Even though he was doing a grab attack directly in front of him. But I've almost looked at- This is gonna be strictly melee. I'm gonna show you how to strictly melee him. Without any problems. You hate the catacombs? I can understand that. The catacombs are interesting. I like the catacombs just because they bring back fond memories. But that's every area. If I had to pick a least favorite zone in Dark Souls 1, it might be the end of Lost Isolith. Because it's so unfinished. There's like nothing there. Over here, I think the trees will protect me from the Hydra's stuff. This guy gets aggroed, he'll slowly walk over. I gotta aggro the fourth one too. Don't want these guys coming up behind me. Oh. Fuck you. Also, I should have talked to the Firekeeper. It's my bad. Got him to jump into the I just water blasts. Alright, here we go. Pull out your shield and block. She's gonna do it. Got one head on. Pull out your shield. Got another head on. Pull out your shield. Head up. You attack. Sometimes it'll hit you anyways. It's really annoying. Another head up. Go on then, two more heads. They're the easier heads too. Unless I'm my buff goes out. He goes inside the wall, I'm too close to the side. Come on. One more. One more head. Come on. I hate this head. I gotta get him to attack me directly with it. As long as he keeps attacking over there, I can't cut it off. Come on. I gotta get him to angle it weird. Barely missed, and I almost went in the hole for it. He's too far to the side of the problem. I need him to come out here. He can move around in this pool. Quite a bit, actually. There we go. Get moving, buddy. Never mind, it doesn't want to do it. I missed. 
Don't do your range attack. Do the head attack. Come on. That hit him? No, it didn't. I got it. Got it. Ha <laughs> There we go. The unlocked free throw black fireball, baby. That's why I'm the goat. The goat. All right, that's one. Whoa! Why am I running? I can just do this. All right, I guess we're going to Ash Lake next. So let's go to Firelink. Actually, yeah, let's go to Firelink. Because I need to upgrade my SS flask. Hi. Thank you. Alright, there should be a whole bunch down in Ash Lake. Should be. I could quickly grab the Firekeeper's Soul that's over in New Londo, but nah. I should also kill this guy while I'm here, shouldn't I? My crystal... How much does it have left? Six? Okay, that's fine. Hold on. It actually doesn't have more damage than my sword right now. Interesting. I took off my weapon buff. That's okay, I have these. Not an ideal way to start that fight. Your breath attack, idiot. You did it, but it hit me. His hand. Pass that. Go back here so he does another breath attack. His hand. Go back here, so that he misses. Do another breath attack. Go back, so that he misses. Do another breath attack. His hand. Breath attack. That's not a breath attack. Yowzers. Yowie zowie, boys and girls. Is he low enough to just kill with these now?
Oh yeah, he is. Another dragon scale, dragon crest shield, store straight sword. We're making money. That was scuffed. I almost died. Ash Lake, one of the coolest zones in the game. Uh, I love dodging it and being mid dodge and getting hit anyways, and because I'm mid dodge, I count as being mid air, and it flattens me, and I hit the ground, and I lose a third of my health. Good times. Enjoy giving your sword uppies. You go into bed. Sounds good, Sky. Thanks for hanging out. Yay. I missed. Oh well. Thought it was using the Elden Ring. Well, yeah. Well, no and yes. Elden Ring. If you play Elden Ring and farm, it's the easiest FromSoft game that has ever existed. Because everything is so cheesable. There are so many ways to one-shot literally everything. It's ridiculous. The 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 inc massively increased scaling caps make the game really easy if you farm and build a one-shot build. However, the Souls games and the Demon Souls games they 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 are easier because there's less inputs to do. It's literally dodge the attack position behind the bosses and hit them you only have two attacks per weapon there's only a couple damage types bosses have much shorter combos bosses have relatively low health bars because you scale pretty differently in this game than you do in other ones like the the souls games are easier to clear than elden ring but elden ring is the easiest souls game It's the easiest to break, and it's the easiest to cheese. It's the easiest to win with minimal effort, while Dark Souls doesn't require as much effort to play normally. If you know how to break the system, you can you can literally win Elden Ring. P people have won Elden Ring uh, only pressing one button. People have done it for Dark Souls too, but it it required a whole lot of very careful dodge management and understanding the way that bosses work and the move sets that enemies have and 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 cues and stuff like that. The Elden Ring ones where it's like I won Elden Ring only using one attack. Yeah, that one attack one shot everything. From a mechanical standpoint, Dark Souls is extremely simple mm -hmm. compared to oh Elden Ring. Excuse me, I was so absorbed in thought I just drifted away. You see, I'm actually in a bit of a fix. I've made it this far, but I'm um by my but can I don't have any. I'll get you some, buddy. When I come back down to go to Isleth, I'll make sure to give you some.
Leeches. The reason it's so hard to judge which games are easier than which games and yada 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 is because the difficulty of Dark Souls games is really nuanced. It's not as simple as the game is just hard, as much as people wish it was. There's a lot of facets to it. And of course, being an RPG, there are ways to break it and make it the easiest thing you've ever played. You want an, you want an example? I have a Elden Ring character that's level 14. I've killed every boss. I just spammed rock throw. Broke everything's poise. Whittled them down with rocks. Until I got until I got black knife Tish. And then I just summoned Tish and, and repeatedly stunned the boss and Tish 100 percent the boss for me. It's that easy. If you know what you're doing. That's why I have a Elden Ring character that's currently level 40 and has beat every single thing in the game and has every single item because I, I cleared the whole game at level like 15 and then I decided to level it up to 40. But it's level 40, has like 9 million runes, has every weapon that you can get pre Faramazula, has enough upgrade materials to instantly upgrade 4 of any item. It was super fun. I really enjoyed doing a completionist run of Elden Ring and actually getting everything that the game offers. Super, super fun to do. I don't know where the dragon scale here is. But I do know there is one. And I died. I love slippery angled geo er, topography on, on levels. Well, that now marks two times I have died because the game decides that the ground I'm on isn't ground. Even though it is. Can we make it three? Entering territory I haven't been to yet. Yeah. There's some cool zones. Alright, that connects to that. Cool. You're about to see one of my favorite, stylistically, areas in the game. There's really not a lot in it. It's really empty. But it looks so fucking cool and has one of the best soundtracks that this game offers. Titanite Chunk. I don't know where the dragon scale is. I'm kind of scared. I'm not going to get it. Need to jump. Do not fall to this wonky ass topography. Saved myself there. Not petrify me, you cunt. That being so jumpy, sit still. No, where is the dragon scale? I know it's here. I know this place has one. Okay, saw me from that far away and left. Damn. 
Get it. I'm going for it. Oh. Thank you for not slipping me off. Damn it. I thought it was the dragon scale for a moment. The image was a white rock. there is one here. I know it as an actual fact. Am I stuck? Fuck. Will I survive this drop? There's no way I just did that. Pog? I can't believe I made that jump, dude. That was cool. I made me feel badass. Did not mean to kick again. The game just decides that I mean to kick. Ugh. Please just give me the dragon scale. I want it. That's why I'm here. It's not a dragon scale. Maybe it's by the mushrooms. Maybe it's that. Can't help but feel like that's it. That's worth it to go for. It's worth it to try because if that's it and it's the only one I don't go for, I'm gonna feel like a dummy. Full circle. Where the hell? Where the hell is it? Is that it? No, that's not it. So after coming up, it's straight. Okay. So confusing and twisty. Everything looks the same, and I couldn't actually see it. There it is. Damn, wasn't it? Mushroom time. Oh, 
I never understood why they make fucking bird sounds when they die. That that is an enigma to me. Titanite chunk. Fuck. I didn't actually get it. Was there not one in that tree? Oh well, Ash Lake time. I know there's a couple here. Oh, I love Ash Lake. I know there's loot hidden all over this place, so we're gonna get it and we're gonna kill the Hydra. Unless the game doesn't let us. Dragon scale! Yippee, yippee, yippee! Bite attack, do your bite attack, bitch. Come on, bite me. Monkey ass hitboxes sometimes just go behind you and then you get hit by nothing. Bite me! Like, I'm just missing! My attacks are going through the heads! fucking back up and do ranged attacks. I'm right here in front of you, cunt. Hurry up. Fight me. Why is he backing away? Why is he such a pussy? There we go. God. Fuck you, dude.
I'm just attacking through him. He's glitched. I, I think the spot I'm at is too high vertically because his head's going under the ground. Swear to God, this glitched, broken garbage. He should have died 30 fucking attacks ago. Oh my God, a hit registered. And he just instantly recovered, so I can't punish him for that. That time I missed. Can't lock onto the head, so it just fucked. He has zero health, he should be dead. They just don't have a hurt box, like they, they can't be hit. He's in the fucking ground. Finally. Fuck that shit. Two scales. Hey, another dragon scale. Holy shit, Zekon was right. There's so many dragon scales down here. I thought there were only like three. I've already gotten five. I think there's more. I hate these crabs and I don't want to fight them if I don't have to. Crabs. Clams. Sorry, they're clams, not crabs. 
giant skull. I still have no idea what that giant skull belongs to. Never really given it thought. Belongs to a giant? Well, maybe. You might be onto something. Another dragon skull, nice. Let's light this bonfire, let's cut this boy's tail off, and then we can continue. Finally. With a well upgraded moonlight greatsword at that. I remember there's one more bit of loot here. thought down here. Nah, I'm not killing you. You have way too much health, buddy. I actually don't know how to get to that little bit of loot up there. Love cursed newts and their teeny tiny eyes. The basilisks, how they are. They're little dorkies. Little dorky lads. Clam. I'm getting more flashbacks to my childhood that I didn't remember before the stream. Also, Sunvi, if you're still awake, how was your day? You didn't say hey. I guess I didn't get a chance to ask. Lots of people were talking earlier, which is cool. I love it when a lot of people actually interact in the chat. As much as this is an excuse for me to play video games. Made me tired? Yeah, you have a long day. Well, you'll make sure you rest. Lay down, get all comfy. Hello, big boy. Tail time. Thanks for the dragon greatsword, buddy. yourself kill. Neither of us want to see you go hollow. Thank you, Andre. You're the best. You're a happy jellyfish now. Good. Good, 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 you deserve it. Bop. 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 Just a couple of guys being dudes down here. Well, you need...
I need one more scale and then I can go to plus five. I don't even know where another scale is. I think I can farm them from the little drakes in the Valley of Drakes. If I remember... I think there's something you can trade to Snuggly for it. But I don't actually remember. Alright, either way. I... As I fell asleep yesterday when you visited our beloved Priscilla, Priscilla... Whoa, we will go back and see her again. Don't worry. I... I'm gonna be right back. I'm gonna go use the bathroom quick. So... Beer be. And decided to attack this smithy during our playthrough. Why would he do that? Or Andre. Andre didn't deserve it. He didn't do nothing. Go get yourself killed. Neither of us want to see you go hollow. Three hundred seventy-eight. It's still not as much damage as buffing the halberd, but that's the nature of the game. You know how it is. Okay. I think next. Oh wait. Before I go anywhere. I did what I said I'd do. Key to happiness is kissing fish. Don't think you'd like it though. I remember what I said I was going to do. Boobies! Let me smack them titties! Look at them jiggle. Yeah! Jiggly titties, yeah! Woo! Thou that tarnisheth the godmother's image. I am Gwyndolin, and thy transgression shall not go unpunished. Thou shalt perish in the twilight of Anor Londo. Get happy, get happy, get happy, get happy, get happy. So pretty. 
does such a big damage. I'm gonna backstab you, buddy. I'm gonna backstab you. I backstabbed you. I forgot to grab Lotchuk's armor. Hold on, I got a notification. Oh, it's Bone sending me memes. Okay, I'll watch them later. That's one thing that's going to be nice about Dark Souls 2. Windowed full screen. Alright. Listen, I don't want to fight you, lady. You're actually a top tier waifu. But I'm here for that boy pussy. And nothing will get in my way. So it was you. Yeah. Nice parry. Only real men can be best girl, too. Blade beams, guys! Our first blade beam kill! Our first blade beam kill! Phantom and Bone are the best girls here right now. But I am, not Bone. Bone is not best girl. I'm best girl. This is an irrefutable fact. Hey, don't call me queen. I'm not a woman, I'm just best girl. Golden queen. If Kingsfield came out today, it'd be called a sexist game because you're forced to play as a man to save the world. Please forgive me. I forgive you, don't worry. Alright. Let's do it. Bold words. First thou offendeth the godmother, and now thou see fit to trample upon the tomb of the great lord. I am the dark son, Gwyndolin. Let the atonement for thy felonies commence. Commenceth is a funny word. One head off. Just keeps doing the bow and arrow. Oh my god, that killed me. I feel like something's wrong with my copy of Dark Souls, guys. Everything's doing so much more damage. Like, it's... it's baffling. And now I'm stuck here. I have to run all the way over to... 
the other place. Like, I only got hit by, like, three of the orbs, and it 100%ed me. I, I, every time I've died in this game, it's been 100%. Like, going from just full health to instantly dead. Because one thing fucking touches me. I don't get it. Why is everything doing so much damage? It's like I'm playing in New Game Plus. Ridiculous. And I don't understand it. Got him. Oh, heretic, swathed in dark, an eternal curse upon thee. Grinnell constantly retreats without turning away from the player because he knows exactly what they're after, yeah. Not a phantom stream unless it's in hardcore mode. Turning around to run away normally for Gwendolyn would be akin to dropping the soap. True. People want that boy butt. Gwyn's tomb. This place has a lot of importance in later games. Sunlight Blade. One of the best spells in this game. The brass armor. It's such a good spell that a content creator named his entire channel off of it. I wonder, does Sunlight Blade still make Souls videos? It'd be a shame if he doesn't. I could level up. Or I can go do Big Hat Logan and make him naked. That sentence could have been said differently. Let's warp to Chamber of the Princess, go get Lachek's armor. Sorcery, Vati Vidya. I like Vati. Vati has been a big important part of the Souls series, or Souls community for a long time. But I do understand why a lot of people kind of have qualms with them. Because most of, he, he sometimes makes his own content, but usually just shows off stuff other people found. Which I think is a good thing. But I understand the criticism that people have. It's like React YouTubers, but for souls. But he occasionally does stuff. Alright, let's go to... 
Firelink Shrine first. Let's go upgrade our Estus Flask. You what? You told me to put a couple of ice cubes in, and I only put in one! Goofy ass. In case you're wondering what I'm doing, I'm getting purple moss for our chubby friend. Purple. Purple is my favorite color. to next do we go we have a few options either we go down to the catacombs and fight Nito. we go to isolith or we can't we gotta go fight sif in order to get the ring for that When are we farming humanity for Quaylog's sister? All right, this isn't actually 2012, okay? Cause that is literally what I did back in 2012 all the time. Let's... Let's go to the catacombs. Hi, you old withering snake. Catacombs. Catacomba. Idiot. Bonfire lit.
Alright, we're about to skip almost the entirety of the catacombs. I want to join the Gravelord Covenant, though. So I'm gonna. If I remember this. Thank you, skeleton. He perfectly knocked me off. What a bro. The worlds of Dark Souls, Bloodborne, and Elder Ring are all just the dreams of Patches. He's actually an Elder God of some sort. I can see it. Need this, because without eyes of death, Nito will not summon you. Let's do it. Well, here's a problem with your idea, Bone. At the end of every playthrough I do, Patches is probably going to be dead. So if he really was the Eldritch God and everything took place in, in his minds and dreams, him being dead would kind of stop that. That's just the dream version of Patches? That's a little convoluted. That feels like you're stretching. Sounds to me like you just want to give Patches plot armor so that me killing him doesn't get rid of your head cannon that he's got. Bacon man. I made a bacon. Hello, big lad. Give me my cool sword. Thanks. Like, wouldn't it be cool if you could do something like this with Mogwin? Where he's like, now go get blood. Blood for the coming of our empire. The dynasty. Sounds like Bone wants to patch his Ussie. It does sound like Bone wants to patch his Ussie. Yes. <laughs> I don't remember which drop down is the one that I want. Ow. That's not fair. Why is there another fucking skeleton? Not that there's another skeleton, it's still the same one skeleton. It's just respawning. Oh. oh 
my god. I survived. No Paladin Leroy, but I don't need him. Crystal Bridges in the first death against Gwendolyn because skeletons. Yes. Oh, that was stressful. Time for one of my favorite lore and stylized bosses, but also one of the worst bosses of the subtype. Because he's so easy. I think Demon Souls did a lot better with the Fool's Idol. mask did I get? Mask of the Mother. Damn. I would have preferred the Mask of the Child or the Mask of the Father for Giant Dad. That's alright. This place is stressful. I don't have anything to help me see in the dark. So, I gotta go slow. Cunts. Oh, hi, Patches. I thought that was in game. I genuinely did. I saw a meme about Isolith once, so it goes the meme. It's literally full of ass, because the demons reused the hind legs of that rotting dragon from the last stream. Yep. Yep. They just take the hind legs of the dragon and slightly reskin it, and now it's a different monster. Alright, I want to be invaded by Paladin Leroy, so... so dark. I betches. Good day. Good day. You look reasonably sane. What are you doing in the catacombs? Are you a cleric or something? Yes. Yes. I guessed as much. Well, here's a tip. There's a stash of treasure right down that hole. I found it first, but well, you're the cleric, right? I yes. am for all that uh, praying and whatnot. I'll give you first pick. Well, go on. Have a look. It'll shimmer you blind. <laughs> you know what, random bald guy? I'm not actually a cleric, but you're stupid and immediately believed me because I said I am. I shall do as you say. <laughs> That was meant to be sucking on patches, wasn't it? <laughs> you got what you deserve! You damn clerics! You're worse than maggots! I'm definitely a cleric. You must be loaded! I'll strip your corpse clean! It's alright, we get the lantern now. I 
area. You're no hollow, are you? Thank goodness. Please be careful. There are two fierce hollows not far from here. They were once brave knights, and my former escorts. Who would let such strong spirits be hollowed so? Heavens, is there nothing, nothing at all to be done? Nope. Is it not more easy to get the light spell? I don't know if I have the light spell. I forgot to put it on if I do. Hi, Listless. You banished those two hollows, did you? Yes. It pains me to think of the trouble my failings have caused. I am certain that both Vince and Nico are grateful to you. True. Sure. Thank you so very much. You're welcome. Here. These belonged to them. You deserve them more than I. It's a miracle. I am certain that... Not an item. It's a miracle. I'm not a cleric. Everyone just believes I'm a cleric because I'm in a, I'm in a tomb. Idiots. I would be a cleric if my weapon was faith. <laughs> Weapons at risk from using that blade attack too much. Can't be beaming like that. Stop kicking. I don't know, you sounded like a cleric. Uh, kinda. Just a little bit. It wasn't me. Honest. Since I said I'm a cleric, are you gonna attack me? Bottom bitch. Blimey. Blimey. How did you? You weren't supposed to survive that. Well, no matter. I'll settle this once and for all. You lousy self-righteous cleric. All right. All right. Die? Thanks, Billy McGuire. <laughs> Hopefully that song isn't copyrighted. Me after I defeated Bald Guy. Lad has a big nose and no chin. Kicked me in a hole and you actually thought I was a cleric, you dumbass. We did it, guys. Evil is no more. dance to celebrate our victory. Let me check if I have the light spell. Nah, I don't. I might have to go buy it from that one, that one lad. Can't remember if I needed 70,000 or 90,000 to finish this. 80,000. Oh, it was close. Come again. The knowledge here is limitless. Uh, let's pop the soul of smell. Ten thousand. Thanks. 
Oh, oh. Did I jump scare you? Kinda. Uh, I did. Come I didn't again. jump that hard. For I didn't really jump. Kinda make my neck tensed up. That was a good one. Alright, we did it. Big hat time. Time for Big Hat Logan to reach his Who final form. Stay clear. Stay clear of my work. Curses upon you. How dare you disturb me? Okay. He's, a pun. He's supposed to leave. Why is he still here? Even sat down. Maybe if I reload the area. He's just sitting there. He's supposed to leave, and then if I go there, his items will be on the ground. Except for his hat. That's strange. Why'd I come here? Griggs. That's right. Light? Oh, they must. You with you. As. You don't have the light spell. Goodbye then. Do stay safe. Who has the light spell? Ah. I think it was the fat guy? Who? The cleric? The cleric doesn't have spells, he has miracles. I'm not a cleric. Look at where you find his loot. He leaves it somewhere. I don't remember. Oh well. He finally moved, which means let's go back to the beginning of this area. Batch of Arknight dubs are out. We have Lancet too. Nice. I got another copy of Friston today. Ooh, gray throat. Last time, we didn't finish Logan's quest. Because he costed way too many souls. And honestly, doing this was a big waste of souls, man. I really shouldn't have done this. I'd be like... I'd be like level 70 right now if I didn't do this, but... Cursed mind, not quite adulting body for being so tired all the time. Very based. True and based.
How's life? I'm playing video games. Oh my god, do not die to these guys right now. The Moonlight Greatsword is doing such little damage to these lads. Because of their crazy high magic resistance. I just got headshot. Since you have no idea what I'm doing, you're just here for the ride? Hell yeah. I'm just running past. Fuck these guys. You're a little anxious about Hodorer. Yeah. I can imagine you want his voice to be good, don't you? Alright. Let's go see the end. Did you just shin kick that man? Yes, I did. Let's go see the end of Big Hat Logan's story. But what we're about to do, we're, we're momentarily being sidetracked, Terran, because we're doing Big Hat Logan's questline. We're going to be going and killing the next Great Lord, and that's Grave Lord Nito down in the catacombs. That's what we're doing. Ready? Good grief, he's naked! <laughs> Big hat. Big hat. Large magic ember. Nice. Hat. Big hat. Why does it look so silly? It's a big hat. It's fine. Now that he's dead, if I go back to where he was originally sitting, the rest of his gear, including his catalyst, should be there. Get the real treasure. Yeah, his underwear. All right, let's go quick to the ended parish. What am I watching? Don't worry about it. Let's go to the Undead Parish and repair our Moonlight Great Sword because it's getting pretty damaged. And then we'll go down and kill Grave Lord Nito quick. That's right. You can reinforce armor in this game. I completely forgot. I'll be seeing you there. Be careful out there. Alright. As funny as it is. I now have the tin crystallization staff. 
is insanely high scaling, and I can go back to upgrading my level instead of goofing around. The Gorgor. Oops. All right, let's go kill Gravelord Nito. I do think Gravelord Nito is my favorite of all the original lords. He's so cool. I fucking love Gravelord Nito. Now, where do I get the light spell? Cast light. Dusk. I get it from dusk. I'm not going all the way over there. It's fine. I could stagger him. I was wrong. Can you not input read me, you fucking cunt? Nah, he's input reading. And while the archer over there is being a bitch. Fuck you, get chained back to head. Fine. Fuck that archer. I'm gonna stomp this archer's head in. Thought you said that was a Dark Souls 2 thing? It is. I was just complaining because he kept hitting me. He wasn't actually input reading me. I was just complaining. That was a wonky ass hitbox on that attack. Anyways, big head. Once you gotta fight Nito now, check this card to see what happened to me the first time on that fight. I will. When I'm not in danger. There's a bonfire not too far ahead right there. <laughs> yeah, it sucked into the ground. Uh, that fucking sucks. Rest in peace. <laughs> I 
It's rare, but stuff like that can happen. Oh, and this is the last bonfire before Nito. I might as well kindle. It's gonna be a fairly long stretch. The abyss got you that time. True. Dark Souls has its flaws and exploits, but just like it's just like any other game from fucking 2011. It's nothing unmanageable. And it has a little bit of charm to it. Alright, Paladin Leroy time. Also, there's the Lake of Ash. I like the jankiness of the old Souls games a lot. I like the jankiness of old games in general. But that's nothing new to you guys. Got a super cool hammer. God, Inferno Plus. That's someone I haven't heard of in a long time. I loved his stuff in Dark Souls 2, and then he became an insufferable crybaby when Dark Souls 3 came out. I haven't watched them since. His Dark Souls 2 videos are fucking great, though. You missed. He's become a quality modder? Interesting! I'll have to check that out, actually. Unless, of course, he just mods all the other games to be Dark Souls 2, which seems like the kind of thing he'd do. Balanced Dark Souls 1. Dark Souls 1 is unbalanced? I feel like Dark Souls 1 is a pretty balanced game. I don't know what Cursed Halo is. Never heard of that. Alright. Let's do it. It's neato time. Pretty fucking neato, kiddo. I hate that I lose health to that. Ouch. Just scream. Oh, he has dedicated servers set up for it? That's really cool.
Ouch. Nito seems easy. He's got a lot about him that's pretty annoying, but he is not the hardest. The fact that he constantly has an entire army of goons doing everything for him is very annoying. He's not the threat. The seven skeletons that you can't kill are. Like, I'm not even fighting Nito, I'm fighting his summons. And I can't even see them because it's so fucking dark and they're just chain stunning me. God, it's so fucking boring. Dodged it. And I'm dead. His summons just kill me. He never did his fucking AoE that kills the summons. Boring ass. Alright, I think I can just run past everything. There's no point in fucking taking my sweet ass time. He's a cool fight. It's just to, once his once his summons become disjointed, it's over. You you lose. You're never gonna get to hit him again. There's gonna be constant skeletons permanently harassing you. It's done. Game's done. Fight's over. I shouldn't have died to him. He should have done... What he does is he does a big AoE attack if you're next to him. And that kills his skeletons. He should have done it, but he didn't. I walked up to him three times and his fucking lame ass sat there like a fucking mouth-breathing, window-licking dumbass. And didn't do the one thing that he's programmed to do when I'm next to him. Like, if he functioned properly. It's this whole run. This whole run's been cursed. Everything has functioned wrong. In one way or another. I've been one-shot by things that shouldn't one-shot. I've been double-hit by things that only have active hit frames for a moment and shouldn't double-hit. It's been ridiculous. I've slipped off angled ledges that I shouldn't slip off of. It's just been... it's been rough. I hate that I start the fight off losing health. Big AOE. There's two giant skeletons glitched and are just standing there. Thank God. I win.
Ah. I, like, I swear, even little things like that, I'm telling you, I'm not going crazy. The skeletons don't respawn that fast. They don't. For some reason, they're just respawning way faster than they should. They're laying on the ground for like six seconds, max. I'm getting immediately stunned by their roll, which I shouldn't. It's, everything just feels like it's not working right. So much feels like it's broken. It's pissing me off. Okay, like Leroy's armor, that's one more fucking Lord Soul down. Now let's go. How much poise do I have? Uh I don't have a lot of poise. But even so, I have the elite knight legs and gloves and I was mid-attack. Their roll shouldn't stun me out of it. Out of a fucking attack. That's not the way that it's worked before, and that's not the way that it worked in my last playthrough. Let's go to. I guess Isolith. Isolith is next. I unfortunately must bid thee adieu. My hay must be hit by him to be a pleasurable companion upon the, the mom. Okay. <laughs> Wording, but I understand what you mean. Grumpy waker, me too. I don't like waking up. Unless I have fun stuff to do. Morn. I thought you said mom. I was like, mom. Are you going to see your mom tomorrow? Alright. Have fun. Got rolling. Ugh. I mean, it's not fat rolling, it's medium rolling, but still. I'm gonna have to kill the ceaseless discharge. Because I fucked up the cheese the first time. He glitched out and one-shot me from pulling his arm out of his chest. Let's make sure we talk to Siegmeier first. Boy fell. Is your mom a banned phrase? I don't know. I didn't say any of the phrases. It's YouTube's auto sensor. Smash. Made your foot drop. Yeah, I don't think your mom is censored. It must have... I don't know why it would flag anything like that. Also, I uh, I went to the shop today after work, and I got the rest of my tools. I'm not completely ready. I'm just waiting for my herb to arrive in the mail. I got a grinder, got a pipe, got everything.
Mm. So soon we'll be playing Dark mm. Souls. Oh ho! What's on your mind, friend? You've brought moss, perchance? Fantastic! Thank you! A saint you are! This knight of Katarina expresses his deepest gratitude. I shall not forget this. Please, take this. A symbol of my appreciation. Okay. Well, our fates do seem entwined, don't they? Perhaps this, too, is the will of Lord Gwyn. <laughs> True. Now, I'm trying to remember... How do you keep Solaire from going crazy? You have to kill the sunlight maggots. But I don't remember where the sunlight maggots are. Quaylag's sister to open the secret tunnel. Secret tunnel. Two lovers forbidden from one another. A war divides their people. Speak to him at Anna Orlando. He doesn't, he's not in Anna Orlando. He shows up down here in Isolith. And he goes, oh, I don't know, I don't know. And then you're supposed to go kill the maggots. And then if you don't kill the maggots, he goes insane. And if you do kill the maggots, then you see him at the end. I just don't remember how to get to the maggots before he goes crazy. We did it last time. I need egg vermifuge. None of them dropped it. Shortcut to the Daughter of Chaos Covenant. Huh? You, you, you open the shortcut from down there. You don't open the shortcut from up here. If I give her 30 humanity, she opens it ahead of time? I didn't know that. have 30 humanity. Are you prepared then if you... I want to be part of your covenant again. We didn't do that last time. That's not how we did it last time, though. You again? Yeah. Hmm. I don't remember how we did it last time. Well, I don't have that much humanity. I don't have 30 humanity just sitting around. I have... really close to it. Let's, uh... Let's go kill this guy first. Is 
secret tunnel. Secret tunnel. If someone didn't use it to heal, he'd have more. Second, when I use it to heal, my counter goes up. Using it to heal didn't get rid of it. It's, I still have the exact same amount of humanity from healing as I do not healing. I'd, I'd be popping it before talking to her anyways. If you die, it's gone. I didn't die. I died once to Nito. I'm probably gonna die again to this motherfucker. I want to fight him over here in the bigger area. Can you come towards me so I can fight you, you fucker? have this membership since today. Someone gave 30 memberships. Jesus Christ, man. I believe you're one of the lucky recipients. I'm just getting hit by everything, man. you've never been to my channel. I don't think it'll give memberships to people who've never been to the channel. You might just not remember me. Because if there's no new people who have been to the channel before to give it to, it doesn't, there we go. It doesn't give it to anybody. But, hi, congrats, enjoy the emotes. <laughs> Isn't that the one boss that Emmy accidentally speed stratted? Yes, I'm pretty sure she knew. I could be wrong. She did really good in her run, but I watched her runs and she did a lot of stuff, quote unquote, accidentally that made her run a lot easier. But at the same time, this boss is pretty easy to access. It's not technically speed stratting. It's, that's a, uh, what's the term? That's a scripted event. It's how the fight's supposed to go. It's not a glitch. I should have just popped this. Is humanity a renewable resource? Humanity is shreds of the Dark Soul. Which you'll learn a lot more about what the Dark Soul is later. In this game and in Dark Souls 3. Dark Souls 2 kind of gives a really shitty explanation. But, uh... It's bits of the Dark Soul. And consuming it makes us human and unhollows us. So it's technically not renewable, technically is. It's not a resource, per se. I would have done the scripted event to kill the Seasons Discharge, but again, on this run, 
So much has bugged out. I got one shot by him pulling his arm out of his chest. He did six bars of damage instantly. And I died with no possible chance to do anything about it. Just one of the many times this fucking run that I've been insta-killed by some bullshit. I think he means in a lore sense, not in a physical sense. Not in the game resource sense. Where is Kirk? Where is Kirk? Is Kirk not gonna spawn? There we go. I love rats. So full of humanity. True. That didn't give me humanity? Or did it? I didn't see the counter go up. Why did I backstep instead of rolling? I love Isolith, the land of unfinished ideas. some shit you'd find in Africa. Yeah. Also, check it out. Look at that big lad. Look at him. Isn't he cutie? Part of me really wants to pop a kindling because this boss is going to suck. But at the same time, it's, it's just the reskin stray demon. So it should be okay. I should be alright. Demon. <laughs> this area has that reskin temple aesthetic from the 2000s, 2010s. Hell yeah, it does. That's because it is a reskin temple from the 2000s, 2010s. Ouch, can I not glitch out? Game? 
I gotta pop these anyways, so I'm going to. Fucking glitchy ass. Like, this is what I'm talking about. This whole run has been scuffed and cursed. Fuck you. Last time. On the other side of that door is where the sunlight maggots are. How do I get that door open? And do I have to do it before fighting this guy? I'm making sure. This whole part's weird. I remember watching a video where, like, apparently it doesn't function properly. <sighs> Alright, open the shortcut, kill the bugs. So I do have to do the shortcut. I have to. Okay, whatever. I don't remember doing it in the last playthrough, but I must have. We'll get the humanity. Spell. Are we reskinning this boss again? Yes, it's the last and strongest version of him. Something very important to point out about this boss, Terran. Isolith, this area is the most unfinished area and has the most like reused assets because so much had to be scrapped even the audio is glitching like i feel like i need to i feel like i need to verify my fucking game files because this shit's whack Audio files keep glitching out and missing. Keep getting one shot by weird topography. It's all just being really fucking, really fucking strange. Not a fan of it. I like my Dark Souls functioning properly. Call me crazy, I know. Alright, so far, we have killed, of all the people that were in the intro cutscene, we have killed two of the lords. We have killed Seat the Scaleless, the dragon who was born without the immortal scales. Yeah, I don't have to open the shortcut, it's right here. Why is everything saying I need to open the shortcut? This isn't the shortcut. The door gets opened by her. Not this.
But they weren't said it. Well, they they've openly said that Isolith Isolith had to be mostly scrapped. Okay. Either way. Why why am I getting so many app messages and while I'm streaming? What the hell? Okay. Let's I need humanity. Where's the best rat farm? I guess I could go down, fight the gaping dragon. That'd be a good way to get myself a decent amount of humanity. Plus it'll continue Kirk's quest line. Hold on. Eight, nine, ten. No, I have 30. Never mind. I have 30. Fair lady. Let me ease your pains. take a while guys but yeah to recap what we've done so far we got the lord vessel got told we had to put the souls of the original lords in it in order to open the path so that we can link the flame and start a new cycle of fire we went to the duke's archives where Seath the scaleless was the dragon that was born with no scales and since it's the scales that give dragons their immortality, that means Seath is not immortal, which is why he betrayed his kind. He tried to create a fake uh, immortality scale out of crystal, and he technically succeeded, but then we showed up and broke it and killed him. And that's how we got a soul. He was doing all sorts of weird experiments and was completely batshit insane. And crystal spells are all the result of his experiments. Then we went down to the catacombs where Nito, the first of the dead, rests. We fought our way down, we killed him, got his soul. Now we have to get the soul of the Witch of Isolith. And her and we need to get the soul of Gwyn, which he split and gave to the four kings. Not the humanity to just spend. That meter in the top left is how much humanity I have. This is... I, she doesn't actually have a name. But she's called the Fair Lady. She's one of the Witch of Isolith's daughters. The Daughters of Chaos. And she, like Quelag, has been turned into this big spider. If you get the Witch's Ring, you she can talk to you. She is blind and deaf. And is dying. Because of the the flame of chaos, she is constantly birthing these eggs and it is killing her. And to keep her from dying, her followers give her humanity and take her eggs upon themselves. 
only meters, you see the giant number that's next to my health and stamina? That number is my humanity count. You can have up to 99 humanity. Higher humanity does a few things. It increases drop chance and chaos weapons will become stronger. Same with pyromancies. But the followers offer humanity in order to ease her pain and help her pass the eggs so that she won't die. That's why Quelag attacks us. Quelag attacked us because she was going to kill us and take our humanity to give it to her. I'm directly transferring the humanity from my own body into hers. It's a very sensual act and she is not wearing a shirt. Aruga, Aruga. It's the same way that you offer humanity to the bonfires via the meter in the top left in order to kindle it or become human. It's the way all of humanity functions in the game. So we gotta kill the witch of Isolith and take her Lord's soul. And then we're gonna go to the DLC. Which we'll probably do next stream. We'll do the steps to get to the DLC tonight, though. We'll probably get into the DLC. And then we'll fight Sif afterwards. So functionally, what's the difference between having humanity in your inventory versus in your meter? When you put humanity- when you pop a humanity, it heals you, and that meter goes up one. Like I said, you have to have the humanity active in order to kindle and you have to have humanity active in order to become human having the number higher will increase the chance of loot dropping from enemies so having it higher is a good thing for loot drops and will also increase the damage of your pyromancies and your chaos weapons however if you die you drop it so it's a double-edged sword having it popped gives you benefits but if you die you lose the one humanity from being human and you drop it on the ground along with your souls if you don't go back and pick it up and you die again it's gone forever so it is dangerous to have it active but you have to have it active to use it for anything all right rank gained it should be open now My fair lady. Are you prepared to dip them if you I think he'll talk you to me now? Again. There is no time. Think only of our fair lady and what she may need. You, so, see how it's glowing white? That means I'm human, which means I burned one humanity to become human. If I die, I lose my human status, and I go back to being undead. That humanity cannot be regained. All the rest of the humanity will drop on the ground and can be regained, though. Dark Souls 1 has an insane amount of small mechanics like that to the point that there are some I don't even know. And to this day, people are still discovering how some of them actually work. But pyromancies in Dark Souls are a non-faith non-intelligence thing. You don't use stats to cast it. Pyromancies are cast... The, the idea behind the three uh, spell types in Dark Souls is magic uses the mind. 
and the soul. No, no, no. Magic uses the mind and your intellect. Miracles use the soul and your faith. Well, pyromancies use the heart. That is the way that it is described by the uh, guy from the swamp. So, spells get buffed by your intelligence. Miracles get buffed by your faith. And, uh... Pyromancies get buffed by other shit. What sappy shit are you talking about? That's legitimately how it is. That's not sappy shit. Uh, guys, the door isn't open. Never mind. There we go. I'm not talking about feels. I'm talking about the lore of Dark Souls. Where the different... Uh, spell types gain their power from. Got it. Sweet. So Lara save. Now I could skip the centipede demon, but I'm not going to because there's no point. In fact, on this playthrough, I kind of want to fight every boss. Which means fighting Priscilla. And I kind of don't want to fight Priscilla. But, like, I still kind of want to show off all the bosses, right? But I love Priscilla. It's going to be hard for me to kill her. But that's why... That's why the uh, different magic types can forsake you. Going too deep into the inte intelligent aspect of spells will drive you insane. That's why Seath the Scaleless went insane. That's why Big Hat Logan went insane after we bought all his stuff and we found him naked at the top of the catacombs and killed him. He went insane because he learned too much. Meanwhile, miracles are based off of your faith and when you lose faith, they forsake you. That's why Rhea and the two guards were sitting at the bottom of the catacombs when I went down there and Patches kicked me down the hole. They got kicked down the hole and they gave up. They went hollow. They were forsaken. And if you don't have the, the heart and the will to cast pyromancies, you won't be able to. The pyromancies don't really have the same requirements because there's no stat requirement for it. Increasing your dex does increase your cast speed, but pyromancies are kind of a flat thing based on how strong your pyromancy flame is and how high your humanity count is. All right, so there. Let's do it. Let's fight a cool demon. One of my favorite bosses, stylized-wise, ironically in my least favorite area. I love the demons, and I love the Chaos Flame, and I love the Witch. It's just really sad that Izalith itself is so unfinished. I'm really happy they re revisit it a lot in Dark Souls 3. Last time. Centipede Demon! You can barely tell where it starts and where it ends. That's because it's a bunch of skeletons in a pile. Okay, can you walk over here, Centipede Demon? You're not supposed to sit far away and 
fight like that. You're supposed to walk up to me. Stop spamming your ranged attack and walk up to me. Pussy. He's literally not an attack range. Fine. And he jumps away. Cool. I need to lure him away. I fucking love the demons in Dark Souls so much. Get over here, Solaire. I want to fight him on actual solid ground. His AI is glitching just like everything else. No, he has a ring that lowers the fire damage that he takes. It's not loud for It's a ring that I can get if I deal with the boss. I cut his arm off. Got the ring. Now I have his ring that reduces fire damage. Got him. God, he's so cool. <laughs> the demons in general are just so cool. Nice. Bye, Solaire. So, unlike demons in... I can't open that. Oh, that's not a door. Unlike demons in... Uh, demon souls? In demon souls, the demons are monsters... Uh, summoned together and brought together by the old one in order to gather souls, right? In Dark Souls, it is very, very different. They have nothing to do with the old one. So all of the lords have their lord souls, right? The Witch of Isolith did not agree with Gwyn. Gwyn wanted to l use his soul to link the flame and continue the Age of Fire, right? The Witch of Isolith wanted to use her soul to make a new flame. So she did. She used her soul to make a new flame, but it did not work. Instead of making a new flame and starting a new Age of Fire, she made the Flame of Chaos, which is constantly evolving rampant growth. And from it are spawning all these big monstrous demons. That's why there's lava and fire and demons all over the place. Her soul is spewing out these demons. Anytime you see something with the word demon in it in a Dark Souls game, it came from the chaos. The Flame of Chaos and the Witch of Isolith. Hey, it's there. Why? Why? After all this searching, I still cannot find it. I'm sorry, Solaire. Why? After all this searching, I still cannot find it. He's not gonna go insane and that's all that matters. We saved him. This area was gonna... I forgot I switched the rings back. Ouch. This area was planned to have so much, and the last boss was planned to be so different. But they had to cut corners. And this was the area that suffered from the corner cutting the most. There's a lot of unused content, but this area is almost exclusively unused content. Watch how easy this area is to go through.
There's all the dragon butts. Just a bunch of dragon butts. For some reason. They, I guess they needed monsters to fill the area, so dragon butts. Dragon butts. You don't even fight them, they just hang out. Dragon butts, yeah, these are all dragon butts. They're the back half of the undead dragons. You remember the back half of the undead dragon that we jumping attacked back in uh, the Painted World? Yeah. It's a bunch of them. There are ass people through and through. This is Miyazaki Bone. He's a foot person, not an ass person. I will not stand for Miyazaki-san to be slandered like this, bastard. There we go. Now we're in the main part. I literally killed one monster. That was it. Now I get to kill a bunch more of the same monster. Please do not invoke the Great One's name like that. Why, do you think he's gonna summon a poison swamp underneath your feet? I miss what are you guys doing? We're talking about butts and feet. Isolith has a bunch of dragon butts just standing around, and Miyazaki likes feet, alright? I'm not wrong. They're not the butts of my beloved dragon girls, they're just random dragon butts. There's only one beloved dragon girl in this game. And that's Priscilla. Time to kill the funny tube monster. Tube monster. Am I at the end? 
I am. But I want to do Siegmeier's quest, so. Hi, Kirk. Good boy. Cast fire whip. Also, I'm a bit sad I had to miss Guinevere not once but twice. Hey, I killed Guinevere the second time, so it's okay. Although her boobies did jiggle a little bit when she died, so I'm sorry. I completely missed the spot where Siegmeier is. Never mind. I found it. Hi, kitty. Lay down. Behave. Hey, stop twitching that ass and lay down. Holy shit. Sigmar. Mm? Oh, oh! Excuse me, I was so absorbed in thought I just drifted away. Must be the warmth. Well, what's on your mind? No, don't tell me. Those monsters making life difficult for you? You need not be ashamed. We're all in the same boat, you know. I really have run up quite a debt to you. Perhaps the time has come. Back up and lay down, Kitty. Uh. Jesus. What's that mean? What's that mean, Sigmar? Um, friend, I have an idea. A good one, really. I will rush those dire fiends and you can slip away in the confusion. Please, friend. I owe you much more than this. By the honor of the Knights of Katarina, allow me to assist you. And now, I go. Don't be slow. I'm not letting you fight alone. I'm not letting you fight alone, my friend. Kitty, knock it off. I heard a rumor once that Guinevere looked differently in Miyazaki's mental image, but the, yeah, so Gwyn he, he didn't want Guinevere to look that way, but the concept artist came to him with it and was so happy and proud of himself. He was so proud that he just couldn't bring himself to tell him no. But you, didn't you get away? Well. You saved me, once again. Oh, thank goodness. I'm exhausted. I think I'll have a rest. Oh, don't you worry. The ground below me is my pillow. I'll recover shortly. Okay. I love him. Bear onion. He's a lad. 
That's for damn sure. that goober. He gets a happier ending if you abandon him. Yes, but then you don't get to meet his daughter. Mm. Anyways. Uh, I always hate this part. I always get lost, so I'm just gonna, you know, pour on out of here. And I refuse to accept that any ending is happier than jumping in and fighting alongside our friend. Yes, it results in a very tragic end for him. But I'm not going to abandon my friend, Siegmeier. Sixty-nine, lol. Alright, let's take the Daughter of Chaos shortcut. And let's hope I can first try... ...a very unfinished and buggy boss. What just took nine damage? Someone that did. Oh! Was it all a lie? Have I done this all for nothing? Oh, my dear son. What now? What should I do? My son. My dear, dear son. It's okay, Sole. Was it all a lie? Oh, my son. It's okay. What the fuck? I got hit twice? You, you, you can't make this shit up, man. You can't make the, I'm taking so many double hits. I'm taking so many double hits. I'm taking so much. I, I'm, I'm verifying the integrity of the files because something downloaded wrong. Like, I literally just got 100%ed by one attack on Steam, yes. I am on Steam. <laughs> 
I'm going to verify the integrity of the files. Something's broken. Hit register is not working properly. The sound of utter flabbergastedness that it usually follows games actually malfunctioning and not working as intended. Dying to something that is completely and entirely out of my control and shouldn't have happened in the first place. Wasting my time. Dark Souls 1 listed under porting disaster. Yes, that's this is different. This is the remaster. Dark Souls 1 Prepared to Die Edition was a disaster. It was not a very good port, but it was cool because it let people play on PC so people could play PvP. The remaster, however, is better. Oh, look at that. I didn't get one shot. Look at that. I got hit and I didn't get one shot. Like, it's actually broken. That hurt, though. Holy shit. That one hurt. That third attack shouldn't have hit me, by the way. Although, the definitive way to play Dark Souls 3 is- or Dark Souls 2, Dark Souls 1 is on the Xbox 360. I wish I could say it's on the PlayStation 3, because that's the first game that- or console that I played this game through. But there's a whole bunch of mechanics in the game that don't work on PlayStation. Nobody knows why. For example, the pinwheel, yeah, Pin pinwheel is really easy. FromSoft has done that boss type multiple times before. The idea of the boss where they, um, it's the idea of a boss that teleports around and, and shoots magic at you and then makes clones of themselves and it makes it harder to fight them, right? The Fool's Idol in Demon Souls is a really good version of it, of this. Um, the great sa the crystal sages in Dark Souls Three is a great example of this. The uh, the Renala fight in Dark in Elden Ring is technically an example of this. Uh, but Pinwheel is just his stats are so low, and Paladin Leroy Leroy, who you can summon outside of his gate, will solo him for you. You don't even have to fight the boss. Summon Paladin Leroy and just stand back. He'll win for you. He'll kill him. The boss is so easy. All right, here we go. Lord number
the bed of chaos. For a moment you wondered if the slide was another glitch. Oh, almost rolled off a hole and died. Nothing I can do about that. That's just the nature of Bed of Chaos. If the boss decides you're in a hole, you're in a hole. There's nothing you can do about it. I almost beat it completely. First try. But his, his hand decided I'm in a hole now, so... I didn't even get hit. I just got slid into the hole. It is what it is. The good news is progress is saved. I don't have to go hit the two sides again. They're already going to be popped up. So I just got to run down the middle. Make that one small little jump that he decided I'm not allowed to try doing. And then I can beat the boss. Yeah, that's glitched. He just 90 percented me turning. He didn't even attack. I just took damage. That is very glitched. I I need to run integrity or an integrity check on my files. My God, that is so broken. Hey, knock it off. Hey. Yeah? When I say hey, that means you knock it off. Doesn't mean wait until I get up out of my chair to knock it off, you little rat bastard. You know better. I don't mind you being excited and having energy. It's when you intentionally do things that you know you're not supposed to do. You know you're not supposed to do it, because the moment I start getting out of my chair, you stop. Oh, shit. Alright. Now, will the boss allow me to play the game? Or will I die immediately?
Draw. That's how close I was to winning. And here's the boss. Take a moment and look at this guy, because his looks are important. Weird little slug thing with hair and multiple eyes. We will see that again. Yep, that's the whole boss. Press two switches, make one jump. Yep. That's all of it. I can't even go get my souls that I left over there because I can't get back across this chasm. Oh well, it's not worth it. Phew, ouch. Oh, still fat rolling. Okay. Well, we beat it. So that is another Lord Soul. So we have the bequeath bequeathed Lord Soul shard. Soul of the albino Seath the Scaleless, a fragment of the Lord Soul discovered at the dawn of the Age of Fire. Seath allied with Lord Gwyn and turned upon the dragons, and for this he was awarded dukedom. Embraced by the royalty and given a fragment of a great soul, although just a piece, it will still satiate the Lord Vessel. Soul of the Bed of Chaos and the Mother of All Demons. This Lord Soul was found at the dawn of the Age of Fire. The Witch of Isolith attempted to duplicate the first flame from a soul but instead created a distorted being of chaos and fire. Its power formed a bed of life which would become the source of all demons and is more than enough to satiate the Lord Vessel. And then soul of Grave Lord Nito, first of the dead. This Lord Soul was discovered at the dawn of the Age of Fire. Grave Lord Nito administers the death of all manner of beings. The power of this soul is so great that it satiates the Lord Vessel, despite the fact that much of its energy has already been offered to death. For all the infamy of this boss, I was expecting you to hit those switches like three or four times. Nope. It's relatively easy. It's just a lot of people fall in the holes, and then like you saw, sometimes the hand just decides you're in a, decides you're in a hole now, even though you weren't. There's nothing you can do about it. It's just, hey, hole time. Time for hole. Just how it is. All right, now we need to get things set up for the DLC because the last Lord we can't fight until we fight Sif and I'm not fighting Sif until we get to that so we killed the Hydra now we need to go save Dusk and kill the Crystal Golem Totally a BS death. I just thought the terrible death boss was long, terrible instead of unfinished, terrible. No, nope, it's unfinished, terrible. Some people really struggle with that boss. Some people cannot beat it. They really cannot beat it. I fought him many, many times, so I I kind of know where the ground opens up, so it's not as much of a problem for me. For some people, it's it's rough. Okay, we need to go to...
here. Ow. Now, we get to go to the DLC where we get to learn everything there is to know about the four Knights of Gwyn. We've already killed one of the Knights of Gwyn, that was Ornstein. We get to meet Sierra, Hawkeye Go, and Abysswalker Arcorius. My favorite character in Souls. I love Artorius. Everything about him. His story, his theme, his fight, his armor, his weapons. Everything about him is so fucking badass. Dusk. So, it is thou who rescueth me. Most gracious, I am deeply obliged. I am Dusk of Ulysil. I cometh from an age long before thine. I cannot stay here for long. So, before I disappear, allow me to ask one thing. My home, Ulysil, is the home of ancient sorceries. My hope is to pass this profound knowledge to thee with thine approval. Would this be of assistance to thee? Yes. My heartfelt thanks. I am pleased beyond words. Then I shout, engrave my signature. If thou art in need, pray summon me from my signature. It seems that my time is done. May the great flames guide thee. Bye. Alright, now we should be able to get the broken pendant, and that will let us go into the DLC. I want to get the light spell from dust before I teleport out of here though. back crystal bitch oh it's on I am dusk of Ulysseo. it is an honor to see thee again I shall follow thine wishes yeah you're gonna follow my wishes oh guys 
I might have to turn off the stream. God damn. Cast light. I should get repaired. If thou art in need, I only wish to be of some genuine assistance. May the flames guide thee. All right, thank you. If thou art in need, I only wish to be may the flame. Yep, yep, yep. Sounds good. Go back to the past. Gotta get back, back to the past. Samurai Jack. Let's go get us what we need, which is the pendant. And then once we have the pendant, that's that's the end of running around all random. But knowing our luck, the arm swipes could be randomized. They're not completely randomized. People have beat the bed of chaos uh, blindfolded. What people normally do, though, is they spawn. So this is kind of a cheat way to do it, but people do it in speedruns. If you spawn into the arena, you can slide down, run over, break one of the arms, right? And then you have to run all the way around the loop. Unless you quit. If you quit out of the game and then reload in, you don't spawn in the boss fight. You spawn directly outside of the boss door. And the progress from breaking one of the arms free remains. So what people do is they walk in... Run down, break the left one, log out, log back in, walk forward, run down, break the right one, log out, log back in, spawn in, run forward, jump at just the right angle, and then they win. That strat wouldn't work if progress didn't save, but progress on killing the two sides does save. So, that's how people... That's how people in speed runs do it. That's how people in blindfolded runs do it. Because it's safer. It's quicker. You don't have to run the half circle. Assuming you load in fast enough, it could be quicker. I should reiterate that, I guess. But this is the end of our kind of weird running around doing loose ends. Once we have this pendant, the rest of the game is going to be very straightforward. We go to the DLC, we fight all the way through to the end, we come back, we go fight Sif, we go fight the four kings, and then we go end the game. So this, this is the end of my weird running around and... Why are these guys taking so much more damage now? Before they weren't even getting close to killed. What the fuck? I hate these guys so much. Also, I'm fat rolling. I still have this. Whoops. Don't want to see you fighting Sif. It's one of my favorite fights. Just because of how good it is. Yeah, why are these guys suddenly taking a lot more damage? What the hell is going on? There we have it. Broken pendant. Alright, let's get the fuck out of here.
You were only dealing... Well, the big crystal guy, yeah. But the little dude, I was doing like 300 damage. When I came here earlier to go fight Big Hat Logan, I was doing like 60. I don't know what changed. It was taking like three hits to kill them. So I, I don't know what changed. I remember out loud saying, this feels ridiculous that I'm doing such little damage to these guys. I was doing so little damage that I skipped fighting them and speed ran to them. Avoiding fighting the monsters. If I was one-shotting them, I would have just cleared through all of them like it was nothing, but I wasn't. So I don't know what changed. Fucking stupid. But whatever. Okay. Let's go. Um... I kind of want to go do Rhea's thing quick. But... I'm not gonna. Let's just go... Let's just go to the DLC. You going to Sif? Nope, I'm going to the DLC. I'm fighting Sif after the DLC. Because I want the special cutscene. You get a special cutscene if you do the DLC before fighting Sif the Great Grey Wolf. The Sif fight also becomes much more emotionally charged if you do the DLC first. I love the story of Artorias so much. It's such a romantic story. I can run through the water like it's nothing. There it is. You guys ready? It's DLC time. Let's see how many tries it takes to kill the first boss, because he is not easy. Get Dusk's gear. Switch back. Sanctuary Garden. Alright. Let's kill this goober. Jeez, Keith. You you wish it was Keith. That was not Keith. <laughs> that was someone else. 
Sanctuary Guardian. boss stop doing the claw attack do your attacks that can actually punish you fucking cunt Come on. Slow down. Is that a manticore? Yes, it is. The Sanctuary Guardian. Well, he's an annoying boss. He is really cool. cut his tail off. I've got to add my shield up. Ouch. Can you not fly? Can you walk in a straight line sort of thing? Finally, doing the punishable attack. Fucking jip it now, dude. I want to hit him with the moonbeam. Be fucking cool. Hell yeah. Beat him first try. 
Moonbeamed. I love his design, so angelic unique. There isn't anything like him in the trilogy. True. He is really cool. It's kind of neat to see a beast that looks like it came from the prime of the Age of Fire. Yeah, in base game we fight a lot of a lot of old things that have kind of gotten decrepit over time. This DLC is when we kind of get to see a couple things as it is in its prime. All right, explain the lore to me, giant mushroom woman. Well, look at this one. From what faraway age hast thou come? Thy scent is very human indeed, but not intolerable. Ah, Princess Dusk's savior. Thine aura is precisely as she described. I thank thee deeply for rescuing her highness. But Princess Dusk is here no longer. Snatched away by that horrifying primeval human. And so I must ask, couldst thou once more play the savior? Yes. Thank you. You're welcome. I am Elizabeth, guardian of this sanctuary. Something of a godmother to Princess Dusk. I shall assist thee to my utmost, for I am one with the sorceries of Uraseel. Okay, Elizabeth. May the flames guide thee. I attacked her to get Laura out of her. Struggling, are we? If there's anything I can do, never hesitate to ask. Thou shalt see further on. An abyss was begat of the ancient beast, and threatens to swallow the whole of Ulysseel. Knight Artorius came to stop this, but such a hero has nary a murmur of dark. Without doubt, he will be swallowed by the abyss, overcome by its utter blackness. Indeed, the abyss may be unstoppable. Still, I have faith that Princess Dusk may be rescued yet. Thou shalt see an abyss... Oh, I already, already said that. Okay. May the flames guide thee. Thank you. So... We're in the past. We get yanked into the past. Ulysseel is under threat from an abyss beget from a primeval human. And Knight Artorius is about to fight the abyss, but Elizabeth does not think he's going to make it. Guardian Soul. Soul of the white-winged lion sanctuary watchkeeper who dreaded the spread of the abyss. The guardian exhibited traits of several animals other than lions, suggesting that it was no ordinary beast, but rather closer to the beings known as demons. Take that as you will. Still can't fast roll. Now I can, as long as I take the catalyst off. Let's pop this real quick. Picks up my sword. Finally, I can cover my ugly mug. Bro's tired. No way. Give me the pitchfork. Ah oh, man, I got so excited. I wanted the pitchfork. Alrighty. God, the Coliseum's so cool. Shortcut's not open yet. Alright. You gotta get to the other side of this chasm.
I'm avoiding a lot of fighting by going this way, by the way. Hi. Seal Township remind is your favorite place in the trilogy. It is one of my favorites too. For a lot of reasons. One, I love the atmosphere. Two, I love We haven't gone there yet because we're going there after this. I love everything involving Dark Heart or the the woods area. I fucking love Artorias. He's my favorite boss. He's my favorite character in all of Souls by a mile. The Abyss is so cool, and I don't like Dark Souls 2's version of the Abyss. I like Dark Souls 1's Abyss so much more. I think Dark Souls 2 kind of fucked the Abyss up, and Dark Souls 3 salvaged it. But Ulusil, Township, and the uh, surrounding area is definitely one of my favorite zones, period, in all of Souls. There are a few areas I really love throughout the Souls series. Throughout the Souls series is... This is one of them. Gardening. That thunder sound is so realistic. The sound of the abyss rumbling underneath us. It's such good sound design. Trying to think, if I had to pick one place in all of the entirety of the Souls trilogy that is my favorite area, that's a tough choice. Stylistically, I love the Shrine of Amana in Dark Souls 2. I love this area a lot. In Dark Souls 3, I really like Irithyll. One of my favorites. <sighs> I'm trying to think. There's so many areas to choose from. Alright. Let's open up the shortcut first. I'm not 100% sure I'm going to first try this guy. Let's talk to the Bloodborne NPC over here. Hmm. Ah, let me guess. Snatched by a shadowy limb and dragged off to the past? Yes, of course. Exactly what happened to me. We are both strangers in this strange land. 
But at least now there are two of us. Did you happen across Knight Artorias, the legendary abyss walker from the old tales? Well, if you haven't, it's just as well. He's a colorless sort, if you ask me. <laughs> I'm not kidding. This guy pretty much is a Bloodborne NPC. <laughs> Snatched from a far away uh, from from a far away land land detached from this. He wears Bloodborne style outfits and he has the biggest, heaviest crossbow in the entire game. He's got very Thumerian style luggage and everything. He's got the accent for it. So what did that giant mushroom make you do? Not that I care. It's none of my business. <laughs> So long. All right. Shortcut is now active. I'm going to want the uh I am going to want full Estus for this. This is a fairly difficult boss, but he's one of my favorites. I love this guy so fucking much. Get ready for armor wise, one of my favorite characters. Story wise, one of my favorite characters. Theme wise, one of my favorite characters and a lasting classic who is going to be an important character from this point all the way through Dark Souls 3. Let's do it. Hold on. Can't use. Oh, it has spell casts. My bad. All right, let's do it. There's a lot more loot around this area, but for now, I'm good to just go. The Royal Wood. Well, there goes a bunch of my health. To this day, I'm very critical of the inclusion of world-ending threats in the trilogy. The Abyss is fine. Yeah! I guess that's, that is something Dark Souls 2 does a lot of. I don't like how they categorize hexes in Dark Souls 2. I always thought that was an awful decision. But you guys will see plenty of that when we get to that. Alright, you ready? Let's do it. My favorite boss in all of Dark Souls 1. And my favorite character in the whole trilogy.
Knight Artorius. Ouch! I gotta get used to his timings. Tried to roll. Jesus Christ, he's just whipping my ass. Oh my god. He is destroying me. Jesus Christ, man. his boss theme so much. I can't punish that attack like that. It's it's a buff. You can stun him out of it, technically. But he's enraging, is what he's doing. Only certain attacks can be punished, and I gotta play this careful. Like that one needs punishment for. Like. This I can punish him.
That I could have punished him for. If he starts buffing. I can moonbeam him. Got him. I love that fight so much. Oh, I actually first tried him. That was really, that was down to the last. I had nothing else. Oh. Soul of Artarius. Soul of Night Artarius, victim of the Abyss. Soul of Lord Gwyn's Night Artarius, who was consumed by the Abyss. The legend that Artarius repelled the Abyss only told half of the story. It seems that he was defeated and his honor preserved by some unsung hero who is the true victor over the Abyss. Ah. <sighs> Ah, oh, it gives me chills. Such a good fight. I love that fight so much. <sighs> Artorius is so cool. Now... One of the saddest things. Oh no, they haven't shown up yet. I think I gotta leave. Come back in order for them to show up. Let's warp out and warp back in. So, we defeated Knight Artorius. Let's go back to the Ulysseal Township. God, I love that fight so fucking much. It's so good. It's so fair. It's so fun. He hurts, but he doesn't one-shot. He doesn't cheese you. He plays careful, and he has a lot of mix-up. It's so fucking good. All right, here we are. I love that boss theme, too. Aww. You. Is that not the soul of the man who fell on this spot? He was a dear friend. Hmm. I wish to pay proper respect with that soul. Would you be willing to part with it? Hold on, face tracking, bro. There we go. I can't say no to you, Sierra. Thank you. You are very kind. Please take this. I no longer need it. May the Lord guide thee. She gave us the weapons. Gold Tracer. Sierra brandishes her sword in a mesmerizing dance, etching the darkness with dire streaks of gold. And then Silver Tracer. A dark silver dagger used by Lord Splayed Sierra of Gwyn's Four Knights. The victim is first distracted by dazzling streaks of the gold tracer, then stung by the vicious poison of this dagger. Do you have a choice? Yes. If you told her no, she'd respect it, but I can't bring myself to not give a soul to her. She really, really loves him. May the Lord guide thee. I can't say no. Alrighty. We don't have the key to go see Go yet. I don't remember where the key is, but we'll find it.
Welcome to Ulus Hill. Surprisingly, <laughs> all the, uh, all of the four knights of Gwyn are actually really nice people. <laughs> like, they were very virtuous people. Sierra is respectful and kind and asks for the soul of Artorias, and if you don't give it to her, she says that's okay. Hawkeye Go is one of my favorite NPCs ever, and you'll see why. He's such a fucking Chad. My weapon's at risk, I didn't repair it. Ornstein, we killed. Ornstein is not dead, we killed an illusion. Ornstein is still very much alive, and he's off doing stuff that we'll learn more about in later games. I don't have light. Damn. If I had to spill with me, I could open that up. I'm gonna need it. Eventually. Fuck you. My god. So fucking boring. Spam faster than I can get up, spam faster than I can dodge, spam faster than I can do fucking anything. Dark orb. Love the overarching theme of the NPCs in this DLC, like all of them fought for New World Order in which they have no purpose. True. Hawkeye Go is directly betrayed by the giants, or by the gods. Artorius was sent to his death. Get the I'm sorry carving. And Sierra lost the love of her life. One of my favorite fan art of Dark Souls ever is fan art of Artorias and Sierra together. Even though she wasn't supposed to follow him here, she did. She disobeyed Gwyn because she couldn't just leave him. the light spell. Can't get the... I'm pretty sure using the light spell unlocks the key for Hawkeye Go. Well, in base game, uh, Oswald of Kareem has my favorite voice lines for an NPC because his laugh is so fucking amazing. Hawkeye Go has my favorite lines for an NPC in the DLC. His, his voice lines are so fucking... He's such a badass! All of the knights are Gwyn, of Gwyn are just such badasses, man. They're so cool. Artorias is so fucking awesome.
And there's reasons that I get to say that that you don't know yet, those of you who haven't played through this game and don't know the lore. Reasons that will be shown very soon. I mean, the game said he fought his way out of the abyss. You don't understand. You don't understand the level of everything involving that. You will soon. You'll know when we go down into the abyss. When you see what he fought and find out what he did while he was down there. When you see just how much Sierra loved him. When you see just how loyal his hound is. And you see everything. God, it tugs at the heartstrings. He's such a good character. Whoops. I didn't mean to kick, but it worked. <laughs> Get disrespected on, buddy. Let there be light. Got the silver pendant. Nice. Alright, that's everything over here. Now I just gotta make my way back. There's a dog with no hairs to hunt. I hate how fast the dark magic moves. Like, I literally couldn't get up and attack her in time. So fucking boring. Alright, where's the staircase that gets me out of here? Where the hell is it? Excuse me? Oh, it's over here. Ignore me, guys. No, it's not. Is it across on the other side? Here it is. I love the architecture here, and I agree that it's fucking awesome, but holy shit, is it easy to get lost. I guess we can start going forward. Chester invaded. I didn't know Chester invades here.
Very good. Let's hear it. Let's hear it. My favorite. Very good. Backstab. That's right. The key to Hawkeye goes up here. Yeah, it goes through a lot of them. <laughs> Rubbish. So much blue. Is that Arturus's blood or the blood of everything he killed? That is the abyss. That is the abyss growing. The abyss grows as the fire fades. But this abyss isn't technically like the abyss of the fire fading. It's technically different. Because this abyss grows from a entity. A primeval human. Like Elizabeth said. Since humans have the dark soul. Manus juice, yum. Got the key. I can just drop down here and avoid fighting all those guys, which I'm gonna do. Fuck fighting all those guys. But yes, this blue goop, this is the physical manifestation of the abyss growing. Also, an important note to make that Artorius that we just fought, that was Artorius after having fought through the abyss, having his armor horribly corroded to the point that it's barely usable, having his sword corroded to the point that it's barely usable, having his dominant arm broken and losing his great shield, having to wield his sword with his non-dominant hand. And he was still that much of a fucking badass beast. Artorius was left-handed. Yep. You want to know why we know that? We know that for multiple reasons. One, in all the games, if you hold his greatsword in your left hand, you can do his flip attack. But if you hold it in his right, nope. He was left-handed. And he used a great shield. So furtive and pulpy. Hey, are you okay? Manus is not the furtive pygmy. Even though for the longest time I thought he was. Yep. I hate. I hate these sorcerers so fucking much. 
I love how they can start and finish an entire spell cast faster than I can start the startup frames of an attack. Like, there's no counterplay to it. If you press the button, you're dead. Good luck. Bye bye. You lose. I said falsely, didn't I? I did not mean to do a heavy attack. Well, that's cool. One of those guys down there just did all of my health. It's just instant. Tracking is ridiculous. I hate it so much. I hate these guys so fucking much. I really hope I kill this guy with no problems because I don't want to fight that again. Hello, sir. One of the weirdest entities in the entirety of souls. Not really explained, he's just here. Ouch. And his hitbox is fucking low. Weird ass motherfucker. Thanks for the chain leggings. You know when I drink my manis juice? Mmm, yum yum. Increases drop rate. Chaos weapons do more damage. Yeah, fuck off. <laughs> Now we're in the abyss. All right. This boss is really hard. Really hard. In my opinion, this boss is the hardest boss in Dark Souls 1. Calamy is hard for a completely different reason. Chasm of the Abyss. Now you get to see why this abyss is different than the normal abyss. See, the, enor the normal abyss is just dark 
and empty silence. This is Manus's abyss. The abyss of the primeval human. Hi, kitty. Now, let's see it. The reason Artorius lost the reason Artorius struggled This is humanity. This is why Artorius lost. Cleansing Great Shield. The steel great shield used by Knight Artorius who succumbed to the abyss. Artorius, deeply scarred by the abyss, used this to form a barrier to protect his compatriot Sif. Although this drained the shield, its magic defense remains high. He gave up his shield to protect his dog and fought without it. enemies look pretty manageable. Yeah, these enemies look pretty manageable. Just you wait. Artorius gave up the things that protected himself so that he could protect Sif. Sif mattered more to him. And he was willing to sacrifice himself to try and save Ulysseel from the abyss. Yeah, this is not the threat down there. This darkness is just what's happening around the threat down there. There 
it is. He's not John Dark Soul? Holy shit. Alright. I need to have the silver pendant ready. Here we go. This is what was dangerous to Artorias. Primeval human. Summon the Sif. Oh, hey, I think this guy was a chrono trigger. Ouch. He has a lot of health. Come on, Sif, help me out. Help me kill the man who killed your master. Sif. Weapons at risk. I can't be using that anymore. I do so little damage to this guy. It's happening again where like for some reason I'm just doing no damage. I know my weapon's at risk, but the damage shouldn't be going down that far. It's not broken. I should have bought more repair powder from Elizabeth. God, he's so cool.
Hey, you leave Sith alone. He's a good boy. Or she. She's a good girl. All right. Hold on. Let me check something. That does so much more damage. The way that his feet stagger you fucking hurts, man. Okay, I think I know how I'm gonna beat him. First of all, can I cast repair on this? I can't. Moonlight isn't doing too much against the darkness. Why isn't why is it doing so barely any damage to him? It was doing like 71 damage to him. It has a, a damage rating of 430. I don't understand that. Anyway. I'm bringing Sif again, so. I don't understand, like, it feels wrong. There's no reason why it would be doing like 20 damage to the boss. It has 430 damage rating. I don't understand. I'm, I'm genuinely think it's bugging. I genuinely think my files are still glitching. I really need to just run an integrity check on this game. All the double hits, one shots, other glitches. Well. That hurt. I'm dead. Fun. Yeah, that's balanced. It's functioning as intended. Hubris? What hubris? I ran over the edge. She shouldn't have been able to see me. Uh, yes, the hubris of walking in a video game. Issue exactly. That's what I get for checks notes, pressing buttons in a video game. we can semi-refund humanity on the way. That's true. There's an infinite source of it. See? There we go. Got it back.
Yeah, now I'm doing like triple the damage I was doing before. Punished me for healing. And I'm getting a Wombo combo. Because he walked up to make sure that he'd land the combo. Stop jumping around, you fucking freak. Do your punishable jumping attack, bitch. Tried to do it in time. Come on, Sif, draw his attention for a moment. Shouldn't have said that, Terran. Ever since you said that, I've been hit twice. He stopped using the punishable attacks ever since you said that sentence. He stopped doing the jump attacks, he stopped doing everything that I enjoy punishing. My weapon's at risk. Fuck. I did it one too many times. Sif is limping. Come on, do your jumping attack, you fucking freak. 
Do your jumping attacks. 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 Finally, holy shit. I do no fucking damage. The durability is as low as it is. I need to switch to my crystal halberd. I can't. I'm gonna lose. Sif literally can't draw his attention. I need to lure him into Sif. Come on, Sif, get him. No, don't back away. I really wish it would stop switching my left hand weapon because of my broken controller. Do your dunk. That was almost the dunk I wanted. Do your dunk. That isn't the dunk I wanted. God. Use the punishable attacks. He just won't do it. He just won't let me fucking get a hit in. Just keep doing the stretchy attacks. Just keep doing the stretchy attacks. Keep casting spells. He finally did it and he fucking baited me because he attacked a dead dog instead of me. Do it again. Come on. I'm in the perfect range for you to do it. I was rolling, but okay, there goes all my health. Do your dunk. Do your dunk. I could have hit him there. Do the dunk. Do the dunk. He just wouldn't do it. Five minutes of me waiting for him to do one of his attacks. And he just wouldn't do it. He literally just wouldn't do it. The game is broken. As soon as the stream is done, I am verifying the files. The AI is wonky. I'm getting double hit by shit. I'm slipping off of ledges. Damage is not registering properly. It doesn't matter, I'm still fucking better. Ugh.
You okay, Dusk? If not dusk, I know. But spoil stuff. Now we get to talk to an absolute fucking unit. An absolute unit. Visitor, have we? Thou must be the one who freed our Torius. An old friend he was. was. Thanks, Thanks to thee, he left this world with honor intact. intact. And here, here I am, am. retired and blind. I love this guy so much. Help to thee, I'm afraid. If thou seeketh to explore this domain, be wary. Of a black dragon. I fear black. thee no match for this terrible beast. Mm. There's very little to be said. What good is a dog with no hairs to hunt? But I'm lucky to be alive, I suppose. God, I love him so much. Mm. There's very little to be said. What good is a dog? But I'm lucky to be alive, I suppose. Farewell, human. Lead thy life as thou seest fit. I love him so much. Every single one of the four knights of Gwyn are just... Chill motherfuckers. Artorius... Charging headfirst into the abyss and sacrificing himself to save everyone he loves, the town of Ulysseal, and his dog, willing to fight a losing battle just to keep Sif safe. Hawkeye Go, a retired, blind sharpshooter with no more dragons to hunt. And Sierra. Now the last boss of the DLC, but a very difficult one. But for a completely different reason. Alright? This boss is difficult for a completely different reason, and I'm going to try to avoid instantly dying so I can keep my souls, okay? Also, Soul of Manus. The Soul of Manus, Father of the Abyss. This extraordinary soul is a viscous, war lukewarm lump of gentle humanity. Ancient Manus was clearly once human. But he became the father of the abyss after his humanity went wild, eternally seeking his precious broken pendant. That's why he grabbed us, because we found the pendant. Yeah, go ahead, ask.
I don't have any homeward bones. I guess I'm dying. Oh well. It is what it is. Does the devs actually hinted to any reason why Bloodborne is trapped on the PS4? I have no idea, actually. I have absolutely no clue. I wish I could tell you. Now for a really hard boss. I didn't die. I've never not died to that breath attack. Holy shit. <laughs> I won't complain. Let's fucking go. neck. Alright, let's, let's make our way back up to Hawkeye Go. Hawkeye Go is just a chill, calm, retired dragon hunter. Sierra is heartbroken. Artorius gave himself up. And Ornstein's off doing whatever hell, whatever the hell he's doing. The Ornstein we fought in Anne Orlando is not Ornstein. It's a... It is a illusion, like the other illusions. Smo is real. And he actually was standing there. He's actually like the only person we genuinely killed. In Anne Orlando before it went all dark. I need to kindle. Because this boss is going to be hard. But I believe in myself. Also, the reason we know, not only do we find out that Ornstein's still alive in the later games, but, um... When Smo, or when Ornstein dies first, Smo crushes Ornstein and then gets lightning powers in his hammer. When Smo dies first, Ornstein absorbs Smo's soul and grows bigger. The only thing in the game that gets bigger when more souls go into it are spells. He is an illusion. All right, Hawkeye. Show everyone why you're my favorite character, or favorite NPC, in this expansion. But Mara, is the black dragon passing the Jira? Keep in mind he's blind. Yes, I thought as much. He's called Kalamit. Ferocious dragon indeed, even mighty Anna Londa dared not provoke his ire. I see little good coming from this, but my intent is to persevere to the bitter end. <laughs> good, good. What is bravery without a dash of recklessness? I've taken a liking to thee, and I owe thee much for thy service to Artorius. Now... Watch, and see how Goth hunts dragons.
Mm hmm He's covered in dust. was never loosed. Bro's blind. Our back will be grounded for and a good spell. And he nails Calamate. is in thine hands. I await good tidings. Ah. Dragon slaying. Knighthood's highest calling. I'll make you proud. God, he's such a fucking badass. <laughs> And we're not going to be able to see it, because if you kill him, you get his armor, and his armor explains it. The reason he's blind is after defeating the dragons, Gwyn gave knighthood to the four knights of Gwyn. They are his four chosen warriors. That's Artorius the Abysswalker, the Hornet Sierran, uh, Dragonslayer Ornstein, and Hawkeye Go. An assassin, an archer, a dragon slayer, and an abyss walker. However, Go is a giant, a troll giant, which are looked down upon as slaves and less than the gods. And some of the gods did not like that. So when Hawkeye Go was given his ceremonial armor to celebrate knighthood, they put poison in his helmet. So when he put it on, it burned his eyes and he went blind. Yet he still wears the armor with pride. And still can land a fucking nasty shot. Even after all of that, he's still such a kind-hearted dude. And a loyal knight. And now he spends his time on top of that tower, whittling arc trees down and carving. Alright. I There's no way I'm going to be able to first try this guy, but I'm going to do the best I can. I love thinking about the original Four Knights of Gwyn, like they're... They're a fucking a Dungeons and Dragons group. Gwyn was not a douche. Gwyn was a good dude, all right? He's not the one that poisoned them. He granted knighthood to them. He was just a coward and was scared of the dark. Sunlight Gwyn. I want to heal. I want to heal. Find his sweet spot. Okay, like I dodged that right and I still take damage. And I'm, I'm just getting my shit rolled in. This is fucking cancer. I 
need a better shield, one that can block some of this fire. That does barely any damage. You guys didn't know this guy is actually a Kingsfield reference. He's supposed to be a play on Gyra. Which sides? Ah, plug yours, everybody. I'm dead. Like, I, I can't do shit to this guy. I know what I have to do, and it's gonna be really boring. Those lingering hitboxes are broken. Double damage now. So I might as well be. Just do no fucking damage to him. He barely scratched him yet. I think I know what I have to do. No, I think I know what I have to do. I know what I have to do. I know how to beat him. As much as I wish I could use the Moonlight Sword, I can't kill him doing like 30 damage per hit. Because for some reason the Moonlight Sword only does the damage it's supposed to do, like, well, you... when it feels like it. Oh, BC. Otherwise, it does 60 damage. Neither of us want to see you go hollow. Dragon Crush Shield is 85 fire guard. Let's grab Crystal Halberd plus five. Magic, crystal magic weapon. Oh, seal township. What the hell are you guys talking about? What's getting censored that I can't see? Oh. Pff. Stupid.
Fat roll. All right. Different shield, different weapon. What have you noticed, Wolfwood? I'll get gold and Elden Ring DLC comes up. Oh yeah? Alright. been a year that's fucking wild true all right here we go believe it guys but see just how much more damage we do now if my sword was doing the amount of damage it should be doing that boss would have had would have lost like two-thirds of his health on that shit it is stupid but it's also dumb That's more like it. stick from Party City. That, that lingering hitbox is cancer. There's no way that is working as intended.
fucking... When he angles it like that, you can't dodge it. And I got perma stun locked. I was spamming dodge. <sighs> Thanks, game. Played that so goddamn well, and then I get 100%ed. You love it. This good congratulations message is ready for you too. Yeah, well, I played it perfectly. The game's just fucking busted, so. Oh, I forgot. You invaded me. What now? You think this is all my fault? How very, very petty of you. Very petty indeed. Will you fucking stop with that? <laughs> Bullshit? Jesus Christ. You win. Please. Oh. Shut the fuck up and give me your armor. Dude was just spamming the fucking kick attack. Boring ass. And he, he had infinite poise, by the way. I had him like six times, and he did not get staggered. Fighting a dragon. What do you mean you forgot? Bones too ingrained in the racism. He can't pay attention to the big fucking 15 minute fight he was literally just watching. Alright. Bone is not Uncle Ruckus. <laughs> At least I was the black and black dragon calamity. I see. Damn bomb. You can't be you can't be doing that, man. It's 2024, my guy. People on Twitter will be very disgruntled for like a total of 25 minutes before they forget that you ever existed and find a new thing to bitch about. You wouldn't want that now, would you? Cool. Can't block that, even with 100% block. Why is he just walking towards me? That hurt. I need to rebuff. I hate that attack. There's nothing you can do about it. it goes so far. Also, that attack has too many lingering hit frames. And that attack goes too far and you can't do anything about it. Like, I swear to god, man. How did his head attack over there? Hit my shield when I was behind him. Like, you can't tell me this shit isn't broken.
that was dodgeable. That was dodgeable. That was dodgeable. Cool. That was dodgeable. Second a healing loop. No, he just decided to repeatedly use the bullshit attacks. When he uses that lunge, you can't block it. It's instant. It's like five frames. Instant. Half of your health. If your shield's up, it gets fully knocked back and you get sent flying. Nothing you can do about it. If he does it three times in a row, there's nothing you can, you can do about it. Period. When he does his breath attack... Which he stands still for, but then he turns for no reason. There's nothing you can do about it. He doesn't turn when he gets up on his on his hind legs and he breathes straight down. He does not turn, but he did that last time, and I died for it. When he does his jump back and then fly forward move, if his back is towards a wall, he doesn't jump back. He just immediately has forward hip frames and you die. The end. that lunge attack, man. There's nothing you can do about it. It's so cancerous garbage. Everything else you can roll. Everything else you can at least partial block. That one, no. Say goodbye to a third of your health. No matter what distance you are, he's just immediately on top of you. Faster than any other attack he has. Longer range than any other attack he has and you can't block it. It's fucking garbage. I guarantee it's not working as intended. The hitbox is overreaching. Cringe ass bullshit. Holy shit, guys. I think this game is a Berserk reference. Taking damage from that. See? It's supposed to be blockable. It's legitimately malfunctioning. I now have concrete proof. Lingering at friends that you can't do anything about. I love instant forward attack frames because he's up against the wall when he starts the animation.
better. Ouch. Can I lock onto the boss, please? Again, you cunt. I win. I'm better. Fuck that. And all I get is the Calamity Ring. <laughs> But I get the clout for saying I beat him twice on stream now. Without cheesing him, by the way. I beat him legitimately. I did not do a cheesy strategy. I dodged his attacks and punished him properly. Give me that. Ugh. We did it. We won. Fucking heart, man. Oh man. I don't have any <laughs> homeward bones. Fuck, I didn't mean to get this far in the game. Next stream is gonna be short. Because all that's left to fight now is Sif. The Four Kings. And the end. Damn. But those areas are long enough that I, I, I shouldn't do them right now. Even though I really want to. I could quickly... What are you going to do with the remaining thing tomorrow? I don't know. I could go do Sif quick, but the Four Kings I can't do quickly. New Londo is long. I mean, it's not that bad. I could potentially win. That's a stretch bone. That, that one was a stretch. I could potentially do it all tonight. Without waiting too long. Should I? What do you guys think? I'm doing it. That sounds like cope to me, Bone, but you do you. You do you, man. Don't worry about it. It's fine. Well. Uh... Alright, give me the crest of Artorius. Don't get yourself killed. Neither of us want to see you go hollow. Neither of us want to see you go hollow. We will walk and read. This door leads to the grave of Sir Artorius the Abyss Walker. Many adventurers have left for the grave, but none have returned, for they make easy prey for local bandits. With such dangers, the crest can do more harm than good in the hands of the uninitiated. I was tabbed out to get ready for bed. G friggin' G on that bad dragon. We're gonna fight one last boss. And this will be quick.
Let's do it. These guys actually hurt a lot. There's a bandit over here, a thief. Sneaking around. Yeah, being all sneaky. Get parried. And next to him is a cleric. I missed that. I missed that. Why am I getting stunned so much? Fuck you. <laughs> Heal this, you cunt. He's doing it. He's healing this. Stop it. Is it not so that thou art new? Thou fared well to find me, but comest thee not for the grave of Sir Artorius? It's the cat that led us My to Sif. My advice true. Forget this. The legend of Artorius art none but a fabrication. Traversing the dark. Hm. Tis but a fairy tale. Have thine own respect. Go not yonder knocking for nothing, I say. Well, indeed, thou art a strange one. Nevertheless, I feel some liking for thee. I'm Alvina of the Darkroot Wood. I command a clan of hunters who track down defilers of the forest graves. What dost thou say? Wilt thou not join us? Oh, yes, I believe we would suit thee well. Sorry, but no. Oh, I see. Tis a pity indeed. But this is thine stubborn choice alone. I cannot enforce it upon thee. If thine mind should be altered, forsooth speak to me once more. So if you take her covenant, you become a forest hunter. And back when this game had a really active PvP base, forest hunters invade people in this area. So this whole area that I just fought through was a massive PvP hotspot. You go back and watch Dark Souls 1 PvP from anybody. Ouroboro, Peeve, Sunlight Blade, anybody. Almost all of it happens here. So much PvP in this area. But that is the cat that led us to Sif when we were down in the Abyss. That is the cat that led us to Artorius's wolf. And now the cat's telling us Artorius was a, fa a, a fairy tale and did not go messing around with them. But here's the thing. In order to go down into the abyss and fight the four kings, I need Artorius's ring. Because it will allow me to walk into the abyss like he did. I have to have his ring or else I can't get the Lord's soul. Which means I have no choice. I have to go to the grave of Artorius. This is not the DLC. This is base game now. But this is the DLC's area. 
way in the future. This is what where Ulysseil Ulysseil used to be. So this is base game. And the reason we did the DLC first is because if you do the DLC before this fight, you get a special cutscene. Remember that little spot where Sierran put a small grave for Artorias? This is that place now. The grave of Artorias. Now for the most emotionally taxing fight. Sif the Great Grey Wolf. Wielding his master Artorius's sword. Technically, Moaning Pufferfish came after Dark Souls Bone, so that's not true. It's the opposite. Moaning Pufferfish sounds like Dark Souls 1 default male damage hit red sound effect. You got it backwards, boy. -o. Get it right, idiot. Oh, don't limp. No! So, after losing his master to the abyss, there I can I can read his soul. Special beings have special souls. Use the soul of Sif, who inherited the divine knighthood to acquire a huge amount of souls. Soul of Sif, the great gray wolf, who guards the grave of Artorias, the abyss walker. After losing his, after losing their master to the abyss, they made sure no one will ever take Artorias's ring and meet their master's fate. Every undead that Sif kills respawns back in the bonfire. And when we showed up, they recognized us, and they refused to let us die like Artorias did. Ready for the saddest part? That's sad. Our, having to fight Sif after saving Sif and Sif recognizing us as the person that saved them and, and put Artorias out of their misery. That, that hurts. But the saddest part is after we gave Artorias a soul to Sierran. 
She never left. She dies next to his grave. One of the special rings granted to the Four Knights of Gwyn, the Hornet Ring belonged to the Lord's Blade, Sierran. By boosting critical attacks, its wheeler can annihilate foes as Sierran's dagger laid waste to Gwyn's enemies. <sighs> but we have it. We have the ring. She loved him. Ah, oh, the storytelling's so good. Man, Artorius' story's so fucking good. Everything about the DLC was so fucking peak. Tiff was a good dog. He was just trying to protect us. And now. Oh, thou art here. Tell me thou hast thought on it once more and will join us. But this is thine's, if thine mind. If you're in the covenant with her and then you kill Sif, she gets mad at you and then tells you to fuck off. I'm surprised she doesn't say it now. Because she and Sif both. That's the point of the forest hunters. The forest hunters were supposed to keep anyone from ever reaching Sif. So if you're in that covenant and you do PvP, you are protecting Sif from people who are trying to get Artorias's ring. I want covenants like that in Elden Ring, God damn it! I want covenants like that in Elden Ring so bad. Oh man, all the characters are so good. Awaited thee, thou hast rescued Princess Dusk and rid us of that terrible primeval human. Even halting the spread of the abyss, I salute the grandeur of thine enterprise. Please allow me to express my gratitude. I thank thee, as do we all. And now everything gets contextualized. I will remember thee. But I will keep thy story to myself. This is the best way. For thou art come from a time far ahead. No one will sing thy praises. But yet thy greatness shall live on. For it shall be my purpose to remember all thou hast done for us. <laughs> Was thine eye glancing hither? Thou needst not hide thy wonder. I am a mushroom, after all. <laughs> <laughs> I love Elizabeth. May the flames guide thee. Just every NPC in the DLC was so good. Alright. All that's left now is new Londo. But I really should stop here, man. It's four in the morning and I gotta work at 10. But I'm gonna be now, I'm not gonna get a lot of sleep. Mushroom. So tomorrow, tomorrow we will 
finish this game. I did not mean to do the DLC tonight. I meant to do the DLC tomorrow, and I just kind of kept playing and <laughs> did the whole DLC. <laughs> Beat all the bosses. All four of them. Oh, but I couldn't stop. It's so fun. It's such a good DLC. I love the story. I love Artorias. I love Sierra, and I love Hawkeye Go, Elizabeth. Manus is such a cool giant monster. Calamite is such a cool fucking dragon. Sif is such a good pup. Continuing to wield their master's sword. Who knows how long after. On oh, the fact that they recognize us. Poor pup. But we have to light the fire. And they can't let anyone else die. <laughs> Wake up! No, no, I'm fine. I'm fine. Well and wide awake. Do not treat me like an old withering snake. I am pleased to see you well. Is it something urgent? The beings who possess these souls have outlived their usefulness, or have chosen the path of the wicked. As the primordial serpent, I implore you to defeat them and claim their souls. Let there be no guilt. Let there be no vacillation. The beings who... Yeah, 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 whatever. Alright. Well, I see you made it out. Yeah, I, I made it out safely too. I have my Pyromancy of the Great Swamp, so I can usually manage with a bit of care. Oh, yeah. By the way, uh, I can share my spells with you. I think you have a knack for it. All you need are the materials. This voice actor is to help great. You. Ah, and, unless you find the magics unsavory. Yeah, wonderful. I'm sure that, you know, they'll be of some use, some assistance. Here, first take this. Pyromantic flame. A flame from the Great Swamp. Now you're a fully-fledged pyromancer. Well, let's get started right now. He's such a fun character. <laughs> Pyromancy is the art of casting fire. Produce flame, then channel it. Just as our ancestors did. A pyromancer must be in tune with nature herself. My home, the Great Swamp, is an abundant store of nature. You will understand one day. It only takes time. Pyromancy has a, well, rather primitive aspect to it. It messes poorly with advanced culture, and pyromancers are considered rather unsavory, which is fine, as I never got along with anybody anyway. So, for me, Turning undead didn't change a thing. <laughs> Goodbye then. Come back if you find anything new. This game's such a fucking masterpiece. I swear to God, every every time. Oh, hello. Then let us begin. As promised, I shall bequeath Master Logan's sorcery to you. All right, that'll do it. May we meet? Every time I talk to anybody, I just... It's... it's so fucking good. It has no right being this good. This game is so good. I love this game so much. Ugh. All right. Tomorrow, we will win the game. There's not gonna be anything else for us to do. We'll go to New Londo. We'll beat that. Fight the four kings, and then we'll have all the Lord Souls and we can finish. 
There's not really anything, any loose ends for us to do. Sadly. As much as I, I kind of, I kind of wish there was more. We're about finished. Game isn't the longest game in the world. I'm surprised that we did it as fast as we did. Kind of. I'm kind of surprised. I'm kind of not surprised. Then we can... We can move on to Dark Souls 2. It always it always feels bad finishing these games. Our eight defender and medic chips will this happen? Chip for the next four months on chips at last. Nice. Nice, nice, nice. I am excited to get to Dark Souls 2. It's just man. This game's so good. I hate finishing it. But I love playing it. I don't know, like, I find closure in open-ended endings. I do. So I don't really feel that there's no closure. Also nice. I, I, I like playing. As I go through and I fight the monsters and I fight the bosses and I see the areas, there, this game really, really captures that feeling of adventure, exploration, and progression. There's a big bitch I have to beat, and when I beat him, I'll feel good about myself. I might struggle, but it's gonna be grand, it's gonna be fun, it's gonna be cool. And as you get to the game, like, that feeling ramps up. Like, fighting Artorias is so much fun. Fighting Manus is so much fun. These fights are hard, and I love them. And the story is so good, but the story is coming to a close. Everything is getting wrapped up. Artorias' story has now been told. He, he did everything he did. Sierran did what she did. He, she, and Go are all dead now. They did their stuff. Hawkeye Go. That's, that's right, that's right. There's one more thing to do. One more thing to do. One very last thing to do. Emotions thou will understand one day. At thy twilight, old thoughts return in great waves of nostalgia. Ah, this great bow? I shan't need it, but no dragons to hunt. I know not if a human could even operate it. But here, thy need outweighs mine. Such a bro. I suspect thou hast taken a gander at it, but the dark of the abyss 
the solid Poratorius threatens to devour our entire land of Ulysseo. It seems that this dire fate is unavoidable, but seduced by a dark serpent or no, they awoke that thing themselves and drove it mad. One's demise is always one's own making. That line pissed off so many lore YouTubers. No, do not mistake my words. I cherish my work. Wood carving is a nuanced art. I would have much to talk about with that blacksmith. Oh, he's and talking about. Oh. Where is the old chap, I wonder? Still hammering away, I should hope. No, do Still. He's friends with the giant blacksmith. Farewell, proud human. May every honor be bestowed upon thee. That line that he says pissed off so many lore YouTubers, do you know why? Because before the DLC came out, everybody had the same consensus. The dark ending is actually the good ending. If you light the fire, you just start a new age and then everything happens again and it's pointless. You should follow Darkstalker Kaith because he, he is, he, he, he's the one. He, he wants peace. He wants darkness. He wants peace and he, he wants the age of man. That's the good ending. And then we come here and we find out Kaith is the reason Manus woke up. He convinced Ulysseel's population to wake Manus up and drove him mad. Kaith does not have our best interest in heart. He is the reason that everything went wrong in Ulysseel. So much for objectivity. No, it's not pointless. It is not. Relighting the fire is the good ending. Because one day, when your flames fade, somebody else will take up the mantle and will do what has to be done and we'll light the fire again. Another hero will come. Just because today's heroes will pass does not mean that what they did was for nothing. All right. I love Firelink Shrine. I uh, quickly run manage properties, installed files, verify integrity of game files. Yep, exactly. I, 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 I'm very sick of seeing the whole, hey, there were corrupted files. Holy shit. I might not have been talking out of my ass after all. All right, well, they're fixed now. Huh. Cool. There's my outro music. Not my outro music, but... I love it. I love the story. I love the storytelling. I love how it's bleak, but it's not cringe. A lot of times, games will have very, very bleak stories. They'll have very, very, oh, it's all dark and it's struggling and it's pointless and it's an allegory for depression. And no, that's not what it is. Exactly. There's nothing greater to do to die for a cause.
The ultimate sacrifice. That's what being a hero is. So what should we do tomorrow? Because we're gonna win this game in like two hours. Wrap it up, then do something short. What could we do that would be short? Helldivers isn't short. Are we open up Steam? Overlord, the Overlord demo isn't short either. Found the leggy chocolate elves, yeah. Oh my god. Wait. We haven't been playing the remastered version. That's why everything's so funky. We've been playing the original. Holy shit! You think you would have noticed graphically? I mean, I... I did. I, I have multiple times over the last two streams found myself sitting here like, Huh, that doesn't look as good as I thought it would. That doesn't look as good as I thought it would. That effect isn't as crazy as I thought it'd be. Oops. <laughs> I mean, we did play the original Demon Souls also. We, we played original version 1.0 of Demon Souls. So I guess playing the original Prepare to Die edition of Dark Souls makes sense. That does make sense. That's all right. Speed run time. Maybe later. Maybe later we'll try actually speed running the Dark Souls remastered, but not now. That can be a future thing to do. Well, it's a good thing. I, I just made sure that I downloaded the right Dark Souls 2. I have Scholar of the First Sin downloaded, not the original. That makes so much sense. That explains all the jank. Huh.
but it's part of the charm. Ha 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 ha. Dialed it. Dialed it. Dialed it. Dialed it. I, I I'm I'm just kind of surprised. I'm shocked. I guess that makes a lot of sense. That's why I haven't been invaded at all. Huh. Well, I guess in the future we'll we'll do a speed run as like an event. We'll do one one like sometime in the future when we're trying to figure out something to do. I'll do like a long stream and I will try to genuinely speed run the game instead of completionisting it. Cuz we this has been a completionist run. This has been a completionist run. God, I love this game. Well, that explains a lot. That explains a lot. That explains the jank, that explains the wonky clipping, that explains slipping off of ledges, that explains the frame rate drop against Seath, that explains the 100%, that explains certain things not registering damage properly, that explains everything. Plus, it also had corrupted files, so I guess it, it, it all comes full circle. I'm surprised I never really noticed it. Like, I, I found myself a lot of times going, I feel like that would look better. I feel like that would look better. I feel like that would look better in the remaster, in the remaster. I feel like that would look better. I'm surprised that the remaster doesn't have windowed full screen. <laughs> I mean, yeah, keep true to the original game, but come on, man. I'd love some windowed full screen. That makes so much sense. <laughs> Ugh. All right, I'm done being flabbergasted at that. Tomorrow we will finish the game. We will win. And then I'll figure out what I want to do for the rest of the day tomorrow. I'm kind of glad that we accidentally played the original. Because it's the authentic experience, which is what we're aiming for. That's what we've been playing through. Ugh. But that's all I got. I got nothing else to say. I got nothing else to do. I'm going to go get some sleep. I got work in the morning, and then after work, I'll be coming back home, and we'll play some more. Play some more video games and have some more good time. You know what we could do tomorrow? Do you guys want to watch a movie? I kind of want to watch a movie. You want to know what movie? It's a movie I've been itching to watch for a little bit now. I want to watch Men in Tights. I think we're going to do that. That sounds like fun. That movie's a classic and I haven't watched it in so long. Can you say that again after you press the clip button? I want to watch Men in Tights! It's a classic. And I haven't watched it in so long. I think we're gonna do that. Tomorrow we will 
we'll play Dark Souls, we'll win it, and then we'll watch Men and Tights and eat food. Should be fun. And then the day after, we could start Dark Souls 2. Finally! Start Dark Souls 2. So, thank you everybody. We'll be back again tomorrow. I appreciate you guys a lot. These days have been a while. I'm gonna get some sleep. And I will see you tomorrow. Take care. Take better care of yourself. I take care of myself. And I'll see you then. Peace.